Hello. 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 Tuesday Hello. again. It's Tuesday again. It's still Tuesday. Huh? It's been Tuesday since we last broadcasted. Kind of. Like yeah, long, we've had a busy one long week. Tuesday. Man, it's been a long Tuesday. <laughs> yes. Oh, but it's spring now. It wasn't spring last week. It weekend. is spring. Yeah. You feel, does it feel different outside? Kind of. The, the birds, are they any different? There's a bunch of birds out there, actually. Um, we were out there a second ago, but when we um, earlier when you were setting stuff up, the little cardinals were out in the um, top of the fountain. Yeah, There's little guys. Guy. We love the birds. We do, actually. All right, happy Tuesday. Happy, happy every uh, Tuesday ever, everyone in the room. Yay. So, uh, our prize today for the first hour is Alice Enchanted. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That is yes. a print. It's a print. It's a big print. Or it's, exclamation it's a, point it's, it's, raffle. Yeah, if you type exclamation point and raffle, all one word, and as long as you're a follower of this channel, it will let you join the raffle. But yeah, the, it, I guess it's a big print. It's kind of a weird sized print. Because the painting itself is like three feet tall and one foot wide, so it's like a big kind of tall, skinny print. Got a grumpy kitty in it. Alice Enchanted. This is what I did for Pop Gallery for my Alice Enchanted show. And it's hey, actually, it has bunnies in it too, Maddie. Oh. Yeah, you think that's bun buns? It maybe it's a springtime thing. Maybe that's why that's yeah. a friend of the week. I don't know. I don't pick them. Mm. Springtime, a magical time when rabbits lay eggs. Yes, that's what Easter's about, isn't it? Yes. Where is it that has the bells that come bring you prizes on Easter? Is that France? Oh, you know. Are they like the bells of Notre Dame come out and they fly around and they bring your Easter basket? Something bizarre. Or are there like any that. French? I, I don't have any amazing room at all, but who do we know who's French? Uh, Ricky's husband's French, Matthew. That's true, and Ricky is in France. Uh, maybe they I know, know the legend. I know she's German, but she's in France, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's like, I, yeah, it, well, they have like the, the bells the bells that make noises at Notre Dame are supposed to fly around and give you your Easter presents there. That's if weird, That's not man. true. I wish it was. Maybe you dreamt it. No, I, if I made this up, this is weird, but I don't think so. The Easter Bunny and Rise of the Guardians makes me laugh, says Leela. I like Santa Claus and the Ice Cream Bunny. Has she seen, has Leela seen that one? That's a great movie. Uh, no, I, I doubt Leela's seen that. Yeah, actually, you probably shouldn't watch it. It's a terrible movie. It's good, though. <laughs> no, no you, you like that movie? Yes. It's filmed in Florida? Wasn't it? Pir Pirates World? It, it, uh, yes. No, nobody likes Actually, Leela is a kind of a, a goth... What, what's her word for it? Gothric. Like goth Gothric. Yeah, Which, it no, was, Leela, it, it is a silly movie. It's a, That's a bad it's one movie. Of the worst, no, no. It, it's one of the worst movies ever. Made. No, it's not anything we'd really recommend. I just did. But no, it's one of the worst movies no. ever made. If you go to if you go into it with that attitude. You will then, not glean anything from this film. It's it's worth nothing. How many times have I watched it? <laughs> Probably I don't know. I would guess six. I've watched it more than that. I watch not it without sad. you a lot. How many times have you watched it? I would guess five. But you wouldn't recommend it. No. Mm -hmm. No. That's a good movie. I do, I have, I do I have enamel pins. I do that lots I have of things I don't recommend. What? I do lots of things I don't recommend. Yeah. No, Leela, it's one of the silly Matt and Jasmine movies. Oh, it's that, a terrible yeah, movie. It's, no. I don't know if I I've looked it up it. on IMDb, but it's probably one of those ones that's like a 1.2, one of those contenders for worst movie ever. It's not good, but it's made here in Florida at Pirate's World, which used to be an amusement park here. It, yeah, before Disney World existed. <laughs> before Disney World. Hey, they, they would have bands come there. Yeah, I think play. Led Zeppelin came there. Led Zeppelin did come there. The Rolling Stones went there. David Bowie, I think, went there. Lots of people went there that were... Um... Yeah, Leela says simply, okay. Thank okay. you, Leela. Yeah. Yes, you would be upset with you us if you had watched it. You are good to cut that off, yeah. It, it's honestly, it's it's um, it's American, um, very Garbage. American and in a bad way. It's, it's just not, it's just not good. It's just not good. 
I own it on. Katie says I own it on DVD and love watching. It. <laughs> well, that, yes. That's, that's see, you are. You cool. would like it, Katie. It's yes, it, it, it's good. I. It's terrible. There was a time where I had a. Well, um, I thought you had a conniption fit. Or I laughed what so hard yes. while watching it. I know. I like almost a Brian died. Regan special. I almost died. He, I thought we'd lost you on that. I think maybe I did die. <laughs> you came back like a phoenix. I'm just a really, really solid ghost. Aren't you? What movie says Fairy Ball? No. Santa Claus and is it? It's not versus the ice no, cream bunny. I, I want to say that versus because the Martians. it's like versus the Martians. The, the Santa Dora Claus and the ice cream bunny, and it's no, awful. No one Santa should Claus see it. And the ice cream bunny. What I like is that I don't know what an ice cream bunny is. Leela just says no worries. I just love being a, known as a Gothric. Oh. And um, yeah. Hey, aloha, OG. Aloha. Nice to have everybody here. Yes. Uh, on a Tuesday. Yes. Yeah, so Jasmine and I are um. Tired. <laughs> tired. We're very. I, say I would say oh, we're, we're we're a tad overworked. <sighs> It's one of those days I almost called in sick to Twitch. Yeah, yeah. I looked I up their corporate number and said, mm, we said might just not make it today. No, I don't no, know. No, no, But I did wake up at like four this morning. Yeah, I, w I was. I thought I was. I was at. I was up at five. I was up at five. It, it should not be. No, it should not be this busy. We should not be this. It doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay. Fairy Bell says, love to be here. Thank you. Thank you. We'll accept your kind courtesies. Thank you very much. And it's nice to have you. It is. We don't know what to expect on Tuesdays. It's not our usual day. We're it usually here on right. Sundays. But we are going to be on Tuesdays for a while while I'm doing my Disney Artisan Showcase, which we were at last night. I don't know if anybody here in the room was, but we were there. Actually, some a lot of these people are, or a lot of a lot of some people are there. <laughs> <laughs> Fairy Bell says it's because she's amazing. Oh, uh, that's why. Thank you. Well, that's why we have this channel. <laughs> or uh, is it is it a channel? I say network. Network. Yeah. That's why we have this network. Mm -hmm. Yes. The internet work. <laughs> but no, we're just we're coasting on fumes right now. Kinda. So, uh, if we have any, if we we seem a bit slap happy, you must forgive us. Yeah. Do other is that a commonly commonly used term? Sure slap sure happy. Knows. I don't know. Amber says that about her kids. Like if it's super late at night and her kids are just being silly, she's like, "You're slap happy." They're just goofy. Is that an old type? Is that an archaic phrase? Is that an antique Perhaps. or tiny thing to say? Slap happy. CJ Tigger says, people? "Great to see you. We love the new setup at Wonderground." Oh, thank you. Yeah, you I'm, are I you are it. very. Uh, you're. It was nice to see you as well. Oh, so and thank you for the compliment. There. Hey, thank you. Yeah, it's Carol. Oh, sorry, you don't see the chat room. Yes, thank you. I like that. Um, they posted that 3D photo of us, right? Yes. That. How do you make those? Uh, you hit a button that says. Post 3D? Question mark. Can you, you know, do it? Does that have to be in real life, like with people, or can it be like on a painting? Can it be like two dimensions? It can be on a painting. Yeah. So would it make them look 3D? It right? might fudge it, but. It, well, I it assume the work. other one was fudged too, because like my hand wasn't like attached to my. Matt needs face. some coffee, and Jasmine needs some of that juice, which I can't remember the name of. Oh. Lol. What do I have now? I got Vita Coco. Vita Coco. Vita Coco. Coco. Coconut water. I don't know what to have. I just drink electrolytes. Water. Yeah, actually. Yes. Yeah. Let's drink. Let's. Oh, I'm trying to screw off the lid, and there's no lid on. This says "chill it, don't spill it" on the top. I've never noticed that. Wow. Mhm. Mm Poets and drink makers. Well, I just think All there's some one. frustrated graphic designer out they there, and they're brilliant. like, "Oh, I'm gonna put my my new slip, my new catchphrase on here." Daniel J. Newman says, saw you on Beautiful Bazaar Magazine Twitter. Oh, Hope really? you are do doing well. I should look at Twitter. I've, no I've not looked at Twitter Jasmine is, is, is not a Twitter sort of gal. I, I think like you have birds. a thing that kind of clones your Well, I, your I think it's there. because when Twitter kind of started, it was hard to show pictures up there. And mostly what I do is paint paintings. 
in not a lot of words usually. Gotcha. I don't know. Leela says coconut water sounds good. It is good. It is uh like I said, natural electrolytes. It's pretty yeah. popular here in Florida. Mm-hmm. But I think we got it's, a lot it's of popular trees. elsewhere, right? I don't um, people love the yeah, coconut I, water. Yeah, well how do heck if you go to um Asia they have it everywhere. Yeah. Like by regular water. Yeah. They there's just this, call it water there. There's this guy on a beach in Bahamas, mm-hmm. and he, oh, he I didn't hear you talking about. He that. has a he has a bag filled with coconuts and a machete that he collected that morning. The coconuts. Yes. Yeah. And uh, he takes the machete out, and he asks For you. The low cost of twenty five dollars. These are people that are typically like on vacation. Yeah, and, and the, he wanders the, the beach. The customers, yeah. And he just chops the top of the coconut off with, with his machete. very very sharp machete yeah. and if you want rum in it he adds rum mm-hmm. if you just want coconut water he gives you a coconut but either way you get a little, you get those electrolytes yeah. and uh there you go and that's how he makes his money I don't know if he finds the coconuts or sources yeah, them. Yeah, they he actually does. find them there. Remember when we were in um, Playa Car in Mexico and we saw him collecting all the coconuts? No. The dude with the machete? It was like every morning there were that many coconuts. Dude. Mm-hmm. We're not allowed to plant them in our front yard here because they might hit people's windshields. I like coconut but not water. Mmm, rum. I'll stick with my coconut beer. There's usually chocolate to it. Coconut chocolate beer. It's like a bounty bar, but it's a beer? And Cherry, my sister, says love you guys. Love Thanks you for too. popping your head Cherry in. Sister. Nice to see ya. You too. Hopefully we'll see you in real life soon. Someday. <sighs> it is nice doing events, though. It is. Actually. There are like nine tables <laughs> in between us. Yeah, well, I think and, and, how and they the like force the, I don't know, the social distancing because they'll put like two four foot tables in front. Yeah, of it. so basically, so it's got to be at least however many feet. You so. come see us. There's seven tables in between us and mm-hmm. you, and you put down your art on the table. My art, usually, or Jasmine's yeah. art, the Probably. art you purchased. Yeah, or brought with you. That's, or, or whatever. Yes, and you, you set it down on the table. I waddle mm-hmm. over, grab it. Mm-hmm. Gen, uh, generally unwrap it. If it needs unwrapping, I hand it to Jasmine. She signs, asks if it needs personalization. Mm-hmm. People take a a selfie often that is strange because <laughs> Jasmine's in the background about... Usually about 12 feet away. Yeah, way behind people. Over somebody's and people shoulder. are in the foreground. <laughs> But you know what? I think they make interesting shoes. pictures. This is a weird time. <laughs> well, it is actually. Well, when um, Carol and uh, Jeff were there, and they're showing the um, photo album that they had taken with us, having come out to see a bunch of our shows. Oh, that was cool. I can look at it, though, and I can say, hey, that was the Epcot Festival. It must have been 2021. Yes. Or, hey, it was the, uh, you know, the Disney thing at Disney Springs in 2021. Totally. I so, hope so. I hope it's not going to be like, hey, that was somewhere between that was 2021 that and 2029. Yeah. You know, everybody had to wear masks for 10 years. I hope it's not going to be like I will, that. But... I will go live on the moon. Mm. I'll go live on the moon. I know Bubba me. says, I love coconut. I have a tiki room in my house. <gasps> Amara in the book is perfect on my wall. Oh, I bet. What oh is she reading? actually kind of a story that goes with it that uh, my sister wrote that's in the book about uh, my book about Amara reading a book. There you go. Got to read the book now. Got to get the book. Out. I think you also got to get the book to explain book, the book. You? Yeah. OG Wild Guest says there's a local to me brewery mm-hmm. that makes a beer called Death by Coconut. Amazing stout. <gasps> A That's a fun beer brewery. Drinker, but that sounds good. I, I like coconut. Oh, uh, Katie, I was like, I bet Katie in the room would like that. And Katie says, Oscar Blue is the best. Did you try any of the variants they released? So good. I'm glad. Done. I'm glad that you, Matt, are able to help Jasmine. I felt bad that Jasmine <laughs> had to unwrap all her own things at Festival of the Arts. No kidding. So we convinced. We somehow convinced Disney 
Well, we told him Disney said it it's was like, okay. Hey, so. guys, I, I, I spend my time with Jasmine in the house. Well, I, can, I, can, I, can I hang out behind? Can I contact yeah. with some, anybody else other than, like, doctors or something for legit, like, a year? So, so if you weren't my pod or something, I don't know who would be. Yeah, we're in pods now. We're uh, dolphins. Okay. Got one of them. We are dolphins. Eat, eat. I wish I could. Did you get it? The brewery is Log Boat. The beer is Death by Coconut. That sounds good. I don't know. I've had a coconut beer. A lot, of, a lot of death brews. What is that horrible? I haven't had the water, but like at 7... I don't go to a lot of places. 7-Eleven has something... What is that? Death water or something? Death water. Brandon had it. He said it was awful. I mean, it sounds like it would be awful. I say, hey, yeah. Brandon's like... Uh, I'll get some death water. I'm like, you want death water? He's like, yeah. And then he drank it and he's like, this tastes like an aluminum can. I was like, well, it has been percolating but an aluminum $4. can for probably two years. Yeah, probably. And then he was not, he's like, would it be okay if I didn't finish this? And I was like, I yeah, it's, it's fine. Please don't finish it if it's super disgusting. Yeah. Leela right. says, it's bubbles in the UK for us. As opposed to pods? Oh. Is that the phrase that they use for containment and quarantine is bubbles? Give me a second here. I'm going gonna, mm -hmm. gonna to fix your... Uh... Oh, no. Is it not working? Yeah, we're good. Sounds good. That is our uh, print of the week there, guys. Enjoy. Oops. Now back. Oh. But yeah, they call them bu bubbles instead of pods, like whoever you've been staying with, like with your family. When people say frozen in the room. Elsa! Yeah, exactly. I think. No, no. Elsa. Olaf. It's like, Jasmine, why haven't you done frozen yet? What I up with that? Done, you know how much Jasmine? frozen concept art I have done that is not. Why haven't sold you done frozen Disney yet? What's I wrong with you? Disney. Um, I think it's info at Disney.com. No, just kidding. I love Disney. Death by Coconut is a take off of death by chocolate it's a variation of their dark matter chocolate is this an did an evil like alchemist create this a super villain yes yeah all this death and dark matter yeah and chocolate and beer i don't know i i i'm not much of a beer i'm not sure if i want to drink darth vader vader beer i'm planning to come see you guys next week if i don't get lost uh okay place it's so, not. It's not a know, hard place to find. That is actually a good thing to say. Anybody, I'll see you next time, unless you get lost. Maybe they mean it more abstractly than I'm thinking. I was meaning it pretty abstractly. But uh, no, I know I, you were. No, I have talked to a lot of people though at like Disney Springs, and they don't know where the different areas have been moved to. <laughs> so I have been used to um, being on uh, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, saying. Go to the back of the store at the co-op and go. If you to the go to the co-op where Jasmine used to be, just keep walking. Keep you'll walking. see her. Go past the dress store, and then you'll find her. Shaylee says Sundays are sure different these days. Aren't they though? They're Aww. like. Oh. She, I think she, that's Shaylee's way I, of saying we miss you. I know. I I, I know. I, I prefer doing this on Sundays. Oh, really, but... I see. OG Wild Guest says, "Well, it's a dark beer." Oh. Their lighter beers have lighter names. Oh, like more cheerful. Huh. Like it's their their alignment. Their, they go from chaotic evil to lawful. Oh, see, Luna has never, driv uh, has never driven to Orlando. Me either. That's why they are uh, could be lost. Well, oh. Much like Rome, when in Orlando, oh. all Oh, if you are roads... in Florida, try not to go to Orlando. Yeah, all the roads go to Orlando. Well, okay. Yeah, you can't, um, OG, uh, you can't put, um, you can't put, uh, links in the room. Hmm? They, they tried to put log, log brewing oh. com oh. in the room. Um, that's just a bot doing that. That's oh, not that's us. because, that's oh, some no. people don't Stop come it. in and spam us about, uh, breweries. No, just kidding. Oh, man, he isn't going to go to our Stop it. I'm here. If it's the doctor's office, hang on up. Quit calling us. My gosh. Yeah, Sorry, you know guys. what? Actually. Hey. Oh, man. He... No. 
If it's like a family member who knows I'm doing Twitch right now and they're calling me, it's not. I they are off my friends list. <laughs> no, but but you know what? That that kind of happened last time we did this on a Tuesday, didn't it? As opposed to a Sunday, we get a lot more phone calls and we get like. Yeah. Remember last time UPS came like three times when I was trying to it's be on true. Twitch. Yeah. It's true. Bringing me things I paid for. Logboat is in Columbia, for? Missouri. Oh, okay. Cool. I like to think of it as like another Centralia away. I went to school in Centralia. I know. That was fun. Well, you think of Centralia kind of being like sort of halfway between there and Kansas City? Shaylee wants to know how we're doing. I'm doing good. Busy, but good. We've been good. Right? That's the American way to say it. I've been good. We've been real good. Real. No, um, yeah. How's it going in the UK, Shaylee? What's it like in the UK these days? I don't. I keep asking people. I know they're, and it, everybody has very mixed reviews. So I don't know. Katie said during the shutdown, I would drive over there on Saturday just due to a curbside pickup. Well, all the way to Columbia. Wow. Wow, that's cool. That's called dedication. What's that town that's kind of on the way there? Um, Herman, the German town that's there? My dad would go there to the, the winery there, Hermanhof. And he'd drive there from Kansas Okay, City. so Kieran says everyone's missing us. Everyone oh. wants us again. Okay. Shayla says, I'm glad to hear you know how much Glastonbury is missing you. Yeah, UK as well, you know. Uh-huh. UK, you know. We're, gonna, we're hopefully going to be there. I think October, what is it, 24th and 25th? Yeah. OG Wild Guest is asking about the KC Ren Fair. You know, it says it's going to be there. Yeah, that, that, it, I own a house there, so if it's there, I'm going to be there. It doesn't y'all, matter. Y'all Always. know as much as we do with all these yeah, events. Yeah, uh, sometimes, actually, they'll put things out on the news or yes. do, like a press release, and I find out about it when everybody else, or about, I don't know, a couple hours after everybody else finds out. But yeah, definitely, if the KC Ren Fair is ever happening, I am always there, for sure. Because that's where I have a house. <laughs> Shaley says, really? Is it safe? You'll see me coming to you in a bubble suit. Well, um, no, um, if well, we, it's, even, it's just, we, they'll determine you, you whether it's safe come. or not. If it's, yeah. if they determine it's safe, we'll come. Yeah. How's no, I, I trust other people's opinions on that sort of thing way more than I trust my own opinion. So as long as they are making it happen, I will be there. So Angela says the Georgia Fair is going on this year. The State Fair? And she says hi. Oh, hey. Probably the State Fair. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's good. The, well, what time of year is that? Is that in the spring? Is that like when the 4 I don't know. people go out? And, oh, okay. The days seem like Groundhog Day every single day. Twitch on Tuesdays breaks the monotony. You're welcome. <laughs> Says Leela. Well, October, I'm excited. That's up. I, I, I hope so. It is. It has been booked. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. But for sure, we if it happens, we're there. And I hear um, Brian Proud and Wendy Proud are going to be there, too. So. Oh, Georgia Ren Fair. Oh, oh gotcha, Georgia. Angela. Oh, I will probably okay. not be at the Georgia Ren No, no, she's just saying, oh. hey, it's going on. Oh, really? If the Georgia that, Ren that, Fair oh, is going Ren on, then maybe is other things Is that the first um, big, like, national Ren Fair that you've heard is going, like, this year? Is anybody, do you know? You know, I haven't heard a Ren Fair going mm-hmm. on forever. Well, I always thought Ren Fairs would be, or I always thought... But in the past they're, year, they're, so I thought Ren Fairs are outside. You, they're usually not crazy Potentially crowded. safer, yeah. I mean, they seem like they'd be a good mm, I agree. transition, zero-grade right. sort of entry. Right. Yeah. It's usually inside events. I think they are uh, generally more careful at uh, Wonderground, for example. Oh, well, it's at they Disney. Than they were at Epcot. So, yeah. When, uh, that's the thing with Disney. I know that they their standards are going to be to the letter and so that's why i'm confident during those shows but i think a lot of the run fairs though they're outside and by then i mean by in kansas city i mean that's in september when it would start up i assume that people who want to go there they, they probably got vaccinated by then or whatever i don't know but I'll be. pretty sure the st louis one is going too same company okay. as KC. I didn't know. Yes, that. it is. I didn't yeah. Know. They are the, uh, the Minnesota Run Fair is uh, the Bay Area Run Fair. You can tell by their signs. Uh, 
Yeah, you can't tell signs by their signs. Siren <laughs> Moonbee says, if it goes ahead, I'll be there. No doubt we'll be camping at Glastonbury. Hey. Fun. I hope so. I need me some Glastonbury. I, and, and I they... forgot what you guys sound like. <laughs> I, I'm, I've been slipping so deep into my American accent that I th I'm afraid there's no return. Yeah, mine's keeping I don't even say things like lovely anymore. I do. Yeah. I don't. I'm all American now. I'm sorry. I speak, I speak COVID. Mm -hmm. That's my language. The bounty hunter can suit up to hunt for bounties, LOL. Yay. Yeah. We are excited for May 1st, but I think it might be the first one that has dates and has said yes. Oh, it's going on. Nice. Well, I'm sure if the government thinks it's not safe, <laughs> they'll probably tell you. And I, but I hope, like I hope it is stuff. safe. Huh? You know, I hope it is safe. There are people getting their vaccin vaccinations yeah. right and left. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know how many people we saw last night at Disney who are like, I just got my vaccine. So. Oh, Shaley says, please start saying lovely again. You know, that I, that was kind of a cartoonish uh, outburst on my part. Yeah, you I still say, say lovely. say lovely quite a bit I, I was, when I, I'm around. I, love, I say it a lot, I love too. the word lovely. I do, too. It's, it's, it's certainly lovely. something I've adopted from the Brits. Is that British? It isn't British per se, but it's something that they use more than we would here. In, the, in American, uh, in American, in, American. in America, uh, if a guy says lovely, it doesn't sound, it probably doesn't sound masculine. Usually, no, actually, it usually sounds sarcastic. Yeah, like lovely. Lovely. Ah, uh, uh, lovely. But I say it, and I mean, isn't it lovely? <laughs> lovely. That's, is that like a, it's a big... Are they from New Jersey? No, this is this is still Shaley. Oh, lovely. No. Is that how we say it? Lovely. As opposed lovely. to like love, like with the L-U-V, the way they would like find something. I yep. say brilliant all the time. But the thing is, I say it more, Matt is blooming marvelous. Aren't um, you? I, but I use those terms more than I do typically uh, when I visited London recently or, or the mm. UK. I say That's it more and more. True. I think I start saying. You start um, sounding. Your, your accent changes. I have a Southern ac American accent, and I think that it's kind of, in some ways, close to a British accent because I, I don't know, maybe it's April people 8th. from Britain kind of started on the East Coast and came through. Dude, Angel is going to have her second vaccination April eighth. That is so cool. Yeah. When were we last in the UK, dude? I don't even remember, Shaylee. We. I don't know. Were. It got messed up because I got sick before everybody else did. And so I'm like three months behind everything. We were there. That summer. That's a, that summer. Uh, no, uh, no, no, no. Uh, we were there that autumn, actually, in Tintagel. Tintagel was in the autumn? I thought it was in the spring. May? That's autumn, right? <laughs> no, I, I don't remember. But we I don't remember things. It was 2019. Know. Oh, it was definitely God. 2019. Ah. I haven't seen my family forever. I've, I've no. seen, except for Jasmine and the cats. No, yeah, there were. I mean, before COVID, my fam my dad, and my stepmom came and visited, and then my sister Sonia and Paul came just and right visited. before. We didn't even know it was going to be a thing. Oh no, I, I didn't. I, I didn't know. Nobody knew. Nobody knows. But yeah, so it's it's it sucks. <laughs> but it's it getting better all the time, and hopefully you're fine. I think it's October twenty fourth yeah. and twenty fifth in Glastonbury. Hopefully we should be there. And I hear that if we go, the Frouds will too. So Brian Froud and Wendy Froud might be there. Is it, it dependent on us? I I don't know. If that's a contingency or not, but probably not. Well, <laughs> they live there. We don't. <laughs> No, but well, well, I mean, we kind of do. Well, gosh, I hope, I hope that the frouds are there. I hope. I hope all our vendor friends are there. Are there. I hope everybody. I hope fables is there. are I there. I miss my UK friends a lot. So. Yeah. yeah. So many bright, happy faces. Yeah. You know, and and I hope that Dragon Con happens. I hope MegaCon happens. I hope that it, I I get a we, we have a wacky wacky yeah. thing. Um. I will say if that, any of those happen, I'll be that it's been the trend when we do have anything open like at these Disney events. Like your art is, there's nothing left when people are done. <laughs> there's just, they, I think they, I, know, I think they I eat know, it. I, I, I don't know what happens with the art. Live events. And it's like where did Jasmine's happen, art go? Like, Everybody ate it. They were hungry. Hungry, hungry. 
people. Yeah. Eating Jasmine's art. Putting it right in the sandwich. Um, like, what'd you have? I, I don't know. I had an Amara in her book postcard <laughs> for lunch. What do you have? I had an entire Darling Draggling 4 canvas print. It, it was signed by the artist. Making? It was delicious. Yeah. So I, I don't know where they go. P I people just... Know. The art's gone. <laughs> no, there's plenty of it. I'm making more. Right now. Totally. I remember the funniest uh, was Whitby 2018. Um, do me supposed to be resting. Hmm? That's what Lila said. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, I thought you were making conversation. No, no I'm not sure what... Uh, do me supposed to be... There must be a typo in there. Oh, maybe. Uh, you should come to Planet Comic Con in okay. KC. I, especially I since you have a house times. there. I hope to return. Yeah, yeah. Is that happening? Uh, I don't know. It's like, I, I, I don't they, they, know. These people, uh, the people who run the shows aren't going to listen to me about it, but if they are going to... Is Planet Comic Con... Show, Con um, is that owned by a bigger conglomerate? They got bought by something, and then they kind of... Remember how they made... Spectrum Fantastic Art Live, their art show. Yeah. The the most recent one, I think, was like that. I don't know. But yeah, I guess I'll be there. I'll be anywhere. That's in August. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I mean, it well, might it might um bump uh bump heads with Megacon, Megacon. and Dragon Con. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know if it. We'd have to see. Yeah, and I might be in California in August too. So hmm, I'll be somewhere. We'll figure it out. But yeah, if the Ren Fair is going, we'll definitely be there. Yeah. And the Ren Fair is... I mean, you can come and hang out with us for a while. It's not like some... It, it's kind of like what we're doing now at Disney Springs. It's not like Dragon Con where you get your eight seconds and then you gotta move along or something. Oh, I see. Leela said I had something done and was told to rest. But the doc said... Oh. I could go to Whitby oh. so long as I took it easy. Yes, I remember she had had a surgery. Okay, yeah. I see. Yeah, I hear that. Damn. August 20, 20 through 22nd. Haha, ha, I don't see you fitting in Planet Comic Con. That might be tight. I don't know. I forget when Megacon like is. When's Megacon supposed to be? When was it supposed to be or when is it supposed when to be? When is it going to be now? They moved it to the weekend before Dragon Con, I believe. Yeah, so. Ah. I know. Planet Comic Con is typically March, April. They've been delayed since COVID started. Same with Megacon. Yeah, that, that's Megacon that's, is that's across the board. I mean, when was the last, when was the last con that happened that anyone's been to? Yeah, what's the last like com? Yeah, like fantasy, sci-fi, comic book, Star Trek, Game of Thrones convention. Well, Leela said, "Yep, I had to come see you and Jasmine." LOL. I'm always willing to give up my chair if anybody needs to sit down. Aww. Like I use it. I usually you, stand you, up and... We have actually done that before. Sure. Sometimes at conventions, people have been up for four days or are tired of walking or yep. super drunk or something. And they Say, hey, do you need my chair? A little bit. Yes. What's that? Hey, do you need my chair? <laughs> yes. That's hey, what didn't I said. we let Angela sit down for a while? Yeah, I think yeah. Angela even No, I mean, a lot of yeah. people have made use of my chair before at conventions, because I usually... You both need to start cloning yourselves. All right. I'm trying. I want to see what the clone of a clone of a clone would would be like. I've seen of me. Photocopy a photocopy of me. Yeah, photocopy. just a copy of a copy of a copy. Yeah. They did Planet Comic Con... 2018 2019 because the awesome pin and spectrum join yeah but yeah if planet comic-con is happening and they're having spectrum as their art show again then maybe we'll see and it's not when i'm gonna be in a different country or a different state yeah i i mean we gotta do these shows if we don't who else will i don't know mm. The Disney Epcot Food and Wine Festival was the last con I went to. That's, is that a con? No, a con, a con, a con, that's not really a convention. The con, the convention would be a bunch of people who I see what up. you mean, though. Yeah, no, that event. would definitely be I see what like you mean, a, definitely an event, totally. Yeah, last you know, up, live like event. A, an indoor convention, gotcha. like in a convention center, like by an airport or but something. But yeah, I, I could, I, there's, there are certainly similarities. Mm -hmm. Usually not as festive and grand. 
I mean, gosh, it's Disney. Where, what, no. what, what, <laughs> Conventions yeah. usually aren't as grand as Disney. Renfest no. was the best. I was just hanging out with Jasmine while she painted. Yeah, and you totally can. That's fine. That that's that's the thing. What it's I like mean. I think if everybody was here during during Twitch, like we're actually here. Eight seconds to talk to me and things, and then sometimes it's like I'm there and it's like you guys want to. Well, get Ren Fair is so. Or, I mean, there yeah. there are a lot of people there, but it's so <laughs> yeah. it's so long and it's all day and it goes for so many weekends. Yeah, it goes for months. That you can just <laughs> casually come over. And what, what would you like? All my family about members. Three weekends or so is what we usually do. The festival itself goes for a couple well, months, and you, I usually go out a couple yeah. times to Kansas City yeah. and maybe do, yeah, three or four weekends kind of sporadically. Yeah. I mean, we all, they didn't tell us last year even, like during COVID, they didn't tell us until maybe three weeks, two weeks before it was supposed to happen that they Oh, the Ren Fair, it. yeah, the Ren Fair like really... The last, Hangers on really, really they, wanted to happen. Yeah, they want. They thought it was going to happen every morning, and they're like, "No, ah, it's COVID still." And it's hard. I mean, that's how they make well, their money. You? Yeah. I mean, what are they supposed to do? A huge medieval town in the middle of a forest in Kansas. What else are you going to do with it? They somehow have full time employees there. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, we have our fun. But no, the Ren Fair is cool. I love that, the Jasmine Ren and Fair. I used to have little dates there. Oh, I have years ago. I have been at the Kansas City Ren Fair almost every year since I was like eleven. So like thirty years I've been going there. We'd go there and we'd go to the little candle shops mm -hmm. and we'd buy incense and eat yeah. the funny food. The outfits. And I'd say, Hey Jasmine, maybe you have an art thing here and you're like, yeah. eh. Well, maybe you'll funny. have to buy a house. It's at Nene's house, Nene Thomas, who is also a wonderful fantasy artist, and that was her house that we bought there. We bought it from her. Very true. Yeah. And I used to go there since I was a little girl. I'd be like, someday I'll have a house here. And it was that house. It was super cool. Mads K33 says, Jasmine, your Halloween book was my first coloring book I got oh. when I got into coloring. Hey, that's a good one to start with. I think Halloween pictures are probably my favorite pictures to paint as far as holidays go. I feel like They're I have not fun. slept for They're nine years. They're less repetitive than Christmas pictures, you know? Hmm? Halloween pictures are less repetitive I think that than I, Christmas yeah, I, pictures. Yeah, I think that you... I'm not um, a super into Christmas person. So. Within your, within your uh, we strangling right. world, mm -hmm. there are more uh, things that could happen in a Halloween sort of environment than a Christmas environment. Anything can happen. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I know you do, baby. I remember the cancellation notice, Casey Renfair sent <laughs> last year. They were meanie, meanies at, at, at the city and fully blamed them. It was hilarious. <laughs> is that a vendor talking or a... Uh, OG Wild Guest is I think <coughs> just a... Uh, OG Wild Guest is a, is a person that likes to go to fun oh, okay. things and do enjoyable, fun yeah. activities. And I kind of get where the Renfair is coming from because they are in the middle of the woods it is outside people can be super careful and that's the only thing that happens there so i i, I think this year I, I unless something crazy happens i knock on wood but i think i don't i think that would be a more likely event to happen than a lot so of og wild guest is a patron and subscriber to their email oh thank you very much to uh the ren fair's email their email oh hey <laughs> But they're a fan of I yours as well. I should subscribe to the Casey Renfair's emails. So well, we, we, get the, we get the um, direct vendor when people uh, our head. talk, whatever yeah, that yeah. is. I did drive through the Renfest and the Christmas light drive through. Oh, I, I heard about that. I've never seen them when they've done that, but I've heard they do that. That's kind of cool. Uh, That's look, the city changed all distinct. the rules for NCAA basketball tournaments. OG met us there a few a few years back. Oh, cool. Oh, was I around? My gosh, do I nap there. <laughs> I nap like a villain. You do. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's like, hey, what are you going to do at the Ren Fair, Matt? I'm we do have bunk beds on the second story of our apartment. They're cozy. The Fair house. Yeah, Get on that yeah. bottom bunk. The children are all quiet. Yeah. I can hear, I can hear whispers and crowds in the distance. It's very oh. cozy. And yeah, I mean, I it just it lulls me to sleep. It is. It's a very homey, comfortable atmosphere. There. Yeah, it's the Ren Fair. It's cozy. Yeah. 
I love Halloween pictures. They are always fun and so many color choices to do with them. Yeah. That's true. I'd have to agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, you were up and down, LOL. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I usually get people are just like, hey, I want to see Matt. Where's Matt? Can we Where's poke Matt? him with a stick or something? Where, where is he? Yep, basically. Or and what? then people say, hey, get up, Matt. People want to see you. I'm like, okay. Well, sometimes give you me a minute. Under I'll be the down. Stairs? What's up? You sleep under the stairs? Sometimes? I've slept under the stairs yeah. sometimes, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, so I'm one of the people under the stairs. Feel like you're the local. It's funny, though. I noticed when people don't know me <laughs> um specifically at the, like at this more recent disney event when jasmine will have someone come up and say i'm a big fan i have a lot of your artwork on the wall mm -hmm. i love your art and jasmine will say something like, oh this is my husband matt and they'll go oh <laughs> oh disappointed. hi, hi. <laughs> and then they'll look back at jasmine's like and my daughter loves your artwork <laughs> and this is like and then they look at me after i pack up their stuff and they're like thanks I I understand, but it's it's still hilarious to me. It does I not hurt so. my feelings at all. Absolutely, oh, no. it's your thing. Yes. No, well, you you're the one who's often polite enough to say, "This is my you. husband, Matt." Yeah, I think that's what kind yeah. of we're saying. I just I love that. So, I'm like, yeah. uh, no, no, it is funny. You okay? Yeah. But if they know me, they're like, well, you know what's they're funnier cool is when people don't realize I'm the artist who painted it, and they kind of act like I'm I've a, seen people I'm almost fall over. It's like, yeah, yeah. Well, no. When people don't know that, it, oh yeah, yeah, they yeah. think I'm just a cast member. Like, and then they realize that bag, um, you're like, one of their favorite yeah, artists. It's great. This, that's my cat in the picture. And like, Angela says we love you both. Well, the thing is, I don't necessarily need the love. It's just funny <laughs> when people. No, I, I, I need it. I don't need it much you just at all. Need it's just funny when when people, you know, are like <laughs> ah. <laughs> I just love that reaction. That? It tickles me. It makes me happy. Honestly, in, in a weird way. I don't know how to explain it. It's like backwards uh, validation. Okay. It, it's, it's funny to me. Discrimination? Something. Okay. It's like, who's that guy with jazz? Degradation oh. is the opposite. Yeah. Degradation. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's like the best thing. If you meet degraded. someone and you go, no. oh. <laughs> oh. It's the best thing ever. I love it. My favorite page in the Halloween book is... Angel de los Muertos. That's a good one. I haven't colored it yet, but I'm planning on in That's the future. That's one also. That is one that uh, the Diamond Art Painting Club people have, isn't it? Isn't that one of the diamond paintings? I think so. I think so. I think so. so. Yeah. I think so. Oh, someone said a masochist. <gasps> That's cute. That's good. That person is I like that. Said that. I like that. Yes, they're masochist. <laughs> but no they're, they're they're there to see jasmine i it's 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 funny though it's, it's just bizarre. it tickles me Why? it doesn't hurt what's that what's up no what are you doing what's i said it, they're there to see jasmine yeah. so that's why it's cool yeah i'm just that's happy they're having say. a good time me too and the fact that i might put a little dent in it makes me the part that the, the fact that you dampen it a little it's bit. like you did you meet jasmine he's like yes i met jasmine it was great <sighs> and then and we met like, matt and then i met that 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 guy the assistant husband it's like well what's there's he like i don't know there's something He's that there. is at disney i don't know if it's like a little bio of me or something yeah it says that you're my assistant husband yeah that's like sister wife <laughs> it is kind of i think of, i'm jasmine's but... <laughs> sister wife i think that's what it comes down yeah, to the assistant husband oh angel says that's Takes probably the craftably jobs the regular husband doesn't want huh that's probably craftably oh i thought other one it yeah. was the one that's not craftably oh well uh, it's angela saying it she probably knows she probably does actually she probably Let's does not argue with these i guys. don't know anything that's one thing i often don't argue with fans about is when they know about a product better oh, about than me stuff i'm like okay that people buy that right. yeah yes. I, I, you guys know more about that well even like we were talking about some of the shows and the run fairs and things we often don't people don't bother to call us if something's being canceled or happening we are we know sometimes just before people but sometimes we find out after people or from fans i know yeah so yeah. the thing is what i think that's indicative of um. is peep the companies the various companies waiting as long as they possibly can well it made sense last year with a lot of things megacon would be a good example because i think 
give Megacon or uh, Fan Expo Canada, whoever owns them right now, if they cancel of their own volition, it's different than if the county cancels it. Like, they get their deposit back or something, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So, yes. like, they all the insurance that they have to pay in case people get hurt and things like that, they get that money back if it's because the government canceled it, not because they called in sick, basically. So that is why they might hold off to the last minute. I get that. But I kind of wish they would tell the people who are the vendors and the exhibitors or the guests or whatever that, that, that if we could find out before, that would just be well, more streamlined. If you think about it, yeah. we, um, so take something like Megacon. Yeah. It's op owned by a huge company. Phoenix, we, yeah. we are their customers. Yeah, the, the exhibitors the vendors. and vendors okay. are customers right. of them. We are yeah. their customers. Yeah. The and everybody else is going there to see a vendor, a guest, or, yeah, or an exhibitor in some capacity. Or, uh, William Shatner right. or somebody cool. Yeah, so, those are also yeah. customers. And that, that's of how that the works. That, yeah. That's how that works. You rent your little booth there just like everybody else does. Yeah. Oh, are those Luna moths flying around? Jasmine? Yes, they are. Yes, yeah, somebody sent me oh. somebody sent me a picture of Luna Moths. Oh, it was from I believe Fairy Magazine. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, and, my goodness. you know, and they're like, hey, you know, don't eat these. Don't eat those, Maddie. No, you should get one like one of those mm -hmm. no smoking mm -hmm. signs, but have it on top of a Luna mm. Moth. <laughs> those are basically like how people who have uh, eat buffalo wings. I what you're painting now? People. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, I I think I think of those as. As buffalo wings, they just look absolutely delicious. Then why don't the squirrels eat that part and they only eat the body? I don't know. Squirrels and I have an agreement. Really? Yes. But yes, uh, Angela says she mixed the two up. You are correct. Uh, craftably, and Lunasar says oh. craftably has sweet Isabella, and Diamond Art Club has the angel. They <sighs> love so yeah, That's what I see, think is funny. It's I can like see one of them has some up. pictures and one has the other, and I don't know why, but that's cool. We don't understand it. I think it's funny when people ask me about it. <laughs> hey, Maddie, are we getting some diamond paintings that I can do so I can see one of the stuff? Yeah, we, uh, we're planning on doing a, a Twitch about it. Yeah, I know. I mean, all right. That'd be cool. No, I, I don't. I, I don't right now. I haven't seen... I haven't one of my diamond painting kits. I'd like to. Me too. I, I just kinda. want to see what they look like. Everybody else. Do you want to wait for those? Uh, that one setup we we're talking about. My my um dual workstation yeah. desk I'm putting in. Yeah. What about it? Did you want to wait for that or do you care? Well, I would probably wait for the Twitch to do that, but I would like to get one of the diamond painting kits in the mail. Just to so mess I know around what with. they look like. Yeah. So I, I I don't know. So I know how they work. Stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd love that. Will we do, be doing a diamond painting one soon? If I I can't I don't know how to explain how busy we are. <laughs> it's it's hard to explain. I honestly I and I'm not it making up. Jasmine honestly was up at four o'clock this morning. I was up at five o'clock this yeah. morning. Yeah. I I don't. It's I, I can't believe how busy busy we are lately. <laughs> it's confusing to me. It's like this is. This is more busy than normal, than a is, normal month. It is, it is, and I think... It, it's wacky. I think it, it'd be easy to say that it's, uh, that, like, it, it just feels more busy because it's after when everybody's been quarantined and things, but it seems bigger than that. No, it, I'm in. Yeah, I'm it's literally board, more busy, hey. and people are also more, um... Excited? Ex enthusiastic. Enthusiastic about yeah. you being busy. Mm-hmm. So it's like, well, are you guys busy? No, we're not busy. You, well, you, you need to entertain us. Get on that. Hey. Get busy. So I get it, though. I get it. Oh. I'm thankful. Everybody honestly. just wants things to go to normal, but they want things to go normal, back to normal, fast. Really fast. Really fast. I, know, I just never I'm... thought the burden would be on like a, a an artist. That's kind of funny. Well, I can, we can handle it. <laughs> Kinda. Artists. It looks like we can handle it. Let's just say that. I meant artists. I was yes. speaking on behalf of all artists. Katie's looking forward to a bunch of new kits I ordered from both Diamond Painting Companies. Yay, cool. Katie. 
Sorry. Hope you have fun with that. Uh, oh, we're getting raided with a party of two. Yes! Yay, thank you, Vinyl Welcome. Deer. That's so sweet of you. Thank we very, you. very, very, very extra much appreciate that. Thank you very much and welcome Rock on. to thank my you. channel. And Peyton um, Fairies and Glowing Luna Mops and Glowing Flower Petals. Thank you for raiding us. Candle. Vinyl Raid! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've worked on this painting since last Twitch, have I, on this one? OG Wild Guest says, how does that raid thing work? Well, um, OG Wild Guest, um, if you have, uh, let's say you had a Twitch channel, and you wanted to take your viewers. Can I raid people? You can raid people. Oh. Um, and you take your Twitch viewers, and you move those Twitch viewers to another, and they, they can choose to opt out or not. And you take those Twitch viewers and you move them to another channel. Usually when you're done broadcasting. Oh, like if we were done at, like how we're done at, um, what are we done at, 6 o'clock or whatever? Like we were like, hey, yeah. everybody, you have I, to watch this thing. Right. I don't know if I'd do that unless I knew I would probably them. do, yeah, I'd probably do a or, friend or hmm. someone like that. I remember oh, yeah. we, we had done it a few times. Like we did it friend. with Nen, our oh, friend yeah, Nen. Nen. And everyone thought that. That she was me. You know, I, th I think I think things have changed a little bit. I think yeah, it's more probably. obvious now. But yeah, yeah, um, we should probably raid more. Yeah. It's just a nice thing to do. It's polite. It's paying it forward. But I am not on my um. I'm really not on my game right now. So hey, I don't baby. know. It's like hey, I want. Hey. I w actually I would like. It would be cool if something like Twitch were more of the highlight of the week. Mm -hmm. It's hard right now when we have events i like it i like it Twitch because i events. get to sit here and yeah. paint in my own house it's nice yeah, totally totally you've been getting a lot of work done at the events too though i you? have i have gotten so i don't you I, want to show I'm off surprised. some of that uh yeah do i have that um yeah, i don't it looks know. like a black folder it's got a bunch Probably. of pieces of plastic in it maybe you have that uh oh where's here okay mm, that might be one of them yeah um yeah here yeah, I can show people what I'm I think. I don't know. Double check. No. That's the other one. That's the other one. Um, <laughs> is it on the table? Is it by the men's adventure magazine? I that one, but like, oh, I see it. I get it. Yeah. This is the one from yesterday because it has your, uh, your Oh, my drawings? Yeah, it's in it. Your awesome pencils and pencils and stuff. They're not that awesome. The pencils. The drawings are awesome. No, they're all awesome. No, I said the pencils aren't awesome. The drawings are awesome. Hey, we're talking about tiki stuff. Somebody was talking about Amara earlier. I've got one. This is a drawing and I did at Disney that's probably going to be a pin at some point. Some of these are old. Hey, here's the one. Actually, I drew this here at uh, Disney first. We did the little drawing. Had a nice little group watching me. And then that is what I turned into this painting here. Hey, here's the other one that was. Mr. Lawson says raiding helps two go. communities connect. Yes, it does. And I like that. That makes me happy. That's old. Oh, that's one thing I did. I did the, um, was this, was this the last night I did this? Yes. That's what I'm saying. That seems How a week old ago. am I? Okay, wow, okay. I know. Um, yeah, I did drawings that were based off of arsenic and old lace because I want to do um, pin designs of them eventually. So I've got to have the line art. This isn't cleaned up yet, but eh. I drew that one. Oh, and here is the other one from arsenic and old lace. I did, did a little line art of her also last night at Disney. And I did this mermaid last night too, didn't I? Wow. So yeah, basically I do, the, I, I've been, do, the, painting is kind of messy to do there because it's in the middle of a gallery and we have to be careful about touching surfaces and other things. So I've been um, drawing and sketching and things a lot there. So yeah, I've been my... doing all sorts of stuff. Can you oh, show off that bunny. print for the raffle real quick? Yeah, yeah. Here. Oh, there's one. Okay. Yeah. Alice Enchanted. We are just a couple yeah. minutes away from the raffle. Kind of looks like me and I have one. Then we'll start the next one. one. There's grumpy, grumpy kitty cat. Oh my gosh, he's so grumpy. Looks like my mama wolf. And there's bunnies who kind of look like Hector. 
Huh, it's funny, I was looking at that white rabbit that I was doing for the pin for the Denizens of Wonderland pin set, and it kind of looks like the bunny on this one, even though I didn't have it there with me to look at. But just how I draw bunnies, I guess. So that will be the prize in just about yes. one minute's time, and I will autograph the prints, and we will send it to you anywhere in the world. And Leela's and wishing good luck to everyone in the room, yes, as are we. Luck. And if you don't mind, we, that is the, is that the uh, sale print? On Strange Line? It is. Okay, yep. it's already the sale print. It is. It should be it up doesn't there. Come, it only comes in that size? Or yes. Is it, okay, because it's kind of a weird, tall, it is a weird narrow shape. painting. I, I like the, stream, I the Streamlabs uh, bot says A. Alice Enchanted print. It, it has and bad grammar. Shame on you, Streamlabs. Well, just know that it wasn't Matt, which is, I assume, why I'm ashamed. mentioning it. It's Streamlabs. That I'm that an ashamed individual. Oh, I'm sorry. Got about 18 seconds uh, to raffle. Do we have people in the room? We do. Oh, cool. I know. We have, we have 77 <laughs> lovely people currently oh, in the room. Oh, thank you. How many ugly people? Uh, we have zero. Zero? zero ugly? That is wow. the correct answer. That is, that is a record. <gasps> oh, it's time. It's time for that. Let me pick a winner. I am slap happy. Oh my gosh. Gonna pick a winner. Mm. Love picking the winners. Like Joey B. Bro. Congratulations. You have Joey B. Alice Bro, Enchanted. you get a print. <laughs> and I will sign it for you and we'll mail it to you. Just follow Matt's instructions. He'll be post posting that in the room shortly. I post a move it. <laughs> Glad you like that, Jasmine. You know, I like it. Congratulations, Joey B. Bro. Congratulations. You're my B. Brew now, bro. It's, it's be brew, but probably bro. Were they the people talking about the brewery? No. No. All right, let's get that other raffle going. And that oh, other... is this the pin? Yeah, our pin of the month. Mm. Pin of the month. My zombie kitty. Mm. Oh, this one's my zombie kitty. There we go. Um, we'll send you your zombie kitty in a little packet, and I will autograph the backing board, and we'll send it to you worldwide. This is our March pin of the month, so if you are a Patreon patron and pin collector tier, you will be receiving this, or probably already have, right? Uh, it's probably it's, you, it's, it's probably, probably it's on, on the way. way. <laughs> and we will put these up on the website also soon. I also have my zombie um, kitty as a print that should be coming, I think, to strangeling.com this week, right? Sure. Okay. The original. Let's painting do already that. Sold, but yeah. Love the prints. We all love the zombie kitty. Angela loves the zombie kitty too. Aww. Zombie Jasmine, kitties, like zombie do you cats. think what if the if the zombie kitty mm -hmm. was an adorable scratch and sniff sticker? What would what the would zombie smell kitty like? smell like? Well, what are things cats like? What do they like? Dead fish. Um, zombies are kind of like dead. I, I don't think that's a good idea for a scratch. Hey, stuff. Jane Jolie has a question. What's that? Hi guys, is that a new paintbrush Jasmine has? It is. What size? What size brush do you use? Okay, these are my new brushes. I for years and years I used to use the Royal Clear Grips, and they discontinued them. This week I finally found the new from Dick Like their replacements of them. They're um. I use two different sizes. I use a script liner size zero brush for doing detail work. And then I usually use a size four round. You can use any sort of materials you want, but I, I get the veggie ones or the veggie, the man-made ones because they're not made out of badgers or whatever. But here we go. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand why, why and who the, looks at a badger and think, okay. man. That looks like that, some good paint. Yeah, that badger looks looks awesome to paint. I don't know. Well, a lot of Man. a lot of paint brushes, and I know it's because they probably hold up better than the crap plastic ones that I buy. Are prop are made out of like minks and squirrels and ermines and badgers and hog bristle and I just 
I just don't want to contribute to that, even if the brushes are better. But these are these are good. These are Taclon, T-A-K-L-O-N, Golden Taclon, which is a synthetic nylon fiber. It's it mimics kind of what people would be used to if they are um, using a script liner made out of um, squirrel hair. It I think that's what it's trying to mimic, but it works good squirrel enough. Squirrel hair. Yeah. Your art. Your art world confuses me with those I, squirrels. Uh, yeah. I thought you bought like 100s of the other one, says Jane Jolie. I have, yeah. I don't know if people understand sometimes how much I paint, but I'll sometimes go through four or five brushes in one painting. So if I've done 30 paintings in a month, then I've gone through 150 brushes. So I, I really do, I buy them by the gross. So I buy them in lots of 144. It grosses 12 dozen. So I buy them like we've even had quantities. we've even had wonderful people send the, the old ones we just, have we they, bought up they kind all of ran the out. old the, stock of the, america the canada uk and australia germany france and italy we bought up all of my old brushes from every warehouse because i like those brushes and they don't make them anymore but these are good i like these these seem like the same thing basically i'm very thankful i found them we will be having a story tonight leela <gasps> Uh, in about um, 25 minutes, I like I like I like doing it halfway through. Ah, uh, that's I think that's best. That's probably fair. Yeah. yeah, if we have a yeah, so in about 25 minutes we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I take a break real quick? I, I don't mind at all. Um, all I'll, right. I'll put up our little uh, our little commercial. Be back in a moment.
It, it was a mayor that was... His name was Sly. Sly Stallone. No! It was like Sly, Sly Stallone. He was the Sly mayor of Kansas Cunningham. City. What was his name? Isn't the mayor, mayor of Kansas City Sylvester Stallone? No, his name was... Was it not Sly or Smiley or Winky? or It, it was like a joke name almost. Who's our, ours is Buddy Dyer here. Yeah. The, but actually, we don't have... We're in celebration. We really don't have a mayor. We're unincorporated. Osceola County. We have Croatia, Croatia, Croa. <laughs> yeah, Sylvester Stallone's totally the mayor of Kansas City. Yeah, ask him. Yeah. And no, Arnold Schwarzenegger is the mayor of St. Louis. California. Yep. Quentin Lucas in KC. Yeah, it is now. It is now. That, who was the mayor before that? Sly, he had a name. Sly Smiley. I think it, yeah, it was Sly, Smiley to the side. Sly John Claude that. Van Damme. Yeah, but no, it was something like that. It didn't seem like a real name. And then our mayor in Orlando was Buddy. Buddy Dyer. Buddy Dyer. I know his name because when you're on the tram, he's like, when hey, you're on the tram this is Mayor Orlando Buddy Dyer. Airport. Whether yeah. you're coming home or just enjoying our awesome theme parks. And <laughs> you know what? We're so much better than every other city. Uh, so just shut up and enjoy the ride. Orlando. Uh, and enjoy the weather, you jerks. You know what? Spend actually, a bunch of money and then leave. You know what so he actually like talks about? Sly James. And I always, uh, what, what is Sly Jones? Sly James? James? I don't like that name. But, um, Sylvester it, Stallone. Sylvester and the family Stallone. No. But, uh, no, the uh, when you came in on the tram at MCO at the airport here in Orlando, it talked about their world-class theme parks their medical industry, and their artistic community, didn't they? Oh. Because every time I was on that tram, I'd clap when that happened, and everybody was just like, we just and everybody got off like, why, why are you clapping? You everybody looks lady. at Jasmine and goes, oh. <laughs> but they, they're like, oh, you're Jasmine, aren't you? <laughs> but no, they really did, and it was one of the things that they said. I was like, yeah, that is kind of Orlando, actually. That is something we have going on here, even though it's not a huge town. Those are things we have, and I was kind of proud of it. I like that they do that. And it is a beautiful airport. I'm I, not just saying that because we have to go to LAX we, a lot. Why Maybe can't we just... Kansas City's airport a I lot. think Orlando I should Orlando's go full airport. cartoon, and I wish I could do the voice, and just have Mickey as our mayor. That'd be great. Hi, everyone. I'm going to come out. I think it would be a conflict of interest for also being the biggest corporate hire on property. I don't know. Everybody wants, when they land in Orlando, except for mm -hmm. the people that are coming for reasons Universal. other than the parks, which is 5% of people, <laughs> everybody wants Mickey to be dancing. Yeah. Like, as soon as they get off the plane, they just want to see Mickey dancing. Around. I I want that, too. Well, what the, like, I just want him to be shops mayor. At, um, at the airport in Orlando, I mean, there's like a a universal theme or a, like theme park souvenir shop there's some disney ones there's there was a sea world one there's uh harry potter ones and i mean they have and then a bunch of random florida ones so i think that people who have like a layover do get a, at least a little bit of the experience have the pilot dressed as missy um mickey Oh, we I might do a mystery pin that. set. We, do, we have to we, we have to get our, our britches on here. I would say Goofy because he's the one with the flying school. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Everybody would feel safe. <laughs> That's like, you seen the sports Goofy about golf? The jokes would be this better on be Southwest, at least. Southwest. It's like everyone, the, the guys, aren't they? <laughs> I, like I was listening American to comedian Man talking about. I was looking Roger. at comedian okay. talking about oh. Southwest and saying the only reason that that the, the uh, flight attendants kill and that's uh that just means they're getting lots of laughs. Kill on flights is because everyone's afraid that. they're gonna die. It is. It's that sort I, of manic gallows humor you get when you're just like, yes, yes, we're still alive, we're still people, sort of thing. Oh, the same people that hate it probably when I sing on on twitch here uh -huh. the same people like me that hate it when a southwest or southwest person okay sings. i have had oh that drives me crazy some comedians on southwest are better than others some of them are actually kind of on their game some of them have the same stale thing that they're kind they, of repeating but they, over and over. that's a new audience each time they can do the same I know, joke i know i know but when they do well, you can tell when it's specific to what's happening or individual people walking around and slowing things down usually 
That's when they get so basically, what, if, for those that you don't know in the room, there is a an American an Amer- American, American airline that is not called American Airlines. It's, but it's called yeah, Southwest. It's called Southwest for some reason. I think it started off doing and they Southwest have jokes. They, they like they try to jokes. tell jokes. Yeah, because they they don't offer anything else. And you can't tip them, so I guess they're confident. They don't give you anything. They except would, their jokes. Mm, yeah, they give you transparency and fairs. I believe that's yeah. they came up with the word transparency. That's the only time I'm gonna use that word. But they put it on posters mm. when you walk down the jetway. And they're oh. like, oh, but I think it's kind of in a passive aggressive, like all the other airlines are lying to you except for Southwest. See, there's a the there's opposite. something in that. That's free advertising. I like the one where you have to pay for everything. Like even transparency? Yes. Okay. What what was the what's the what's the Spirit. airline? Spirit. Spirit Airlines. Spirit. Spirit Airlines. Spirit knows the score and yes. they know you know the score and they know that you know the score and they ride on that. It's like I remember, yes. No, when I, it's true. I we book I remember booking an airfare on Spirit Airlines and I have a lot of respect for them because I bought the cheapest flight possible and it had a pop up and it said let the nickeling and diming begin. Yes. And it said that. And I was yes. like, now that is actually a joke. It was pretty funny. Learn from it, Southwest. So but basically, you get on Spirit funny. Airlines. Like, I, I, do you want, I, I'll take a rum and coke, please. And they'll give you your rum and coke. And I like a napkin. And they'll be like, that'll be 50 cents, sir. It kind of is. They It'll won't be 50 even cents let you bring napkin, sir. a regular suitcase. You have to, I mean, and they wanna... And they're, they don't tell jokes. They don't. I paid extra so they wouldn't tell a joke. Uh, yeah, see? That's part of the nickeling and diamond. Actually, they start telling jokes until people pay them enough to stop. Yeah. It's called a tip. Jane Jo Lee says, I have a pencil drawing of the globe and Mickey signed by Walt Disney. Oh my goodness. It's been in my family closet for over 60 years. Oh what do you think it's goodness. worth? Anything? I don't know, but there are so many uh, Disney and the people out there. I they would. Buy it. They would. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's, uh, hold on to that. Don't believe the first person who tells you what it's worth. No. And ask a few people. Who know what they're talking about, not me. I have no idea how to value anything. Ask let broadly. Alone myself. What's that? Ask broadly. Yeah, ask, ask a lot of people. Lot of people. Um, go to anything know, actually like signed that, by Walt. Almost, I Ooh. would. Yeah, I. Uh, Dang, you want a Jasmine original? You might be able to get one off that. I yeah, don't know. I would. Uh, yeah, uh, Walt yeah. Disney is not signing stuff anymore, despite he, you know, he heard. was signing stuff up until like about five years before I, said, I died. I despite what you heard, because I don't abide the cryogenics jokes about Walt Disney. Oh, I didn't, Sorry. I didn't do a cryogenics joke. Okay, okay. I set up about five years before. Like, I, I paid you ahead before. of time. Okay. okay, what did Walt Disney do five years ago? Five years before I was alive, Uh-oh. he was signing things. Was he? Probably, no. Or was he up in his little weird firehouse apartment? He was up in his little weird thing, eating sandwiches and Cheetos and He was eating one can of baked beans every day, is what he was doing. A can of baked beans every day. Yep. Yes. It's true. And and what did what did did he have any water or a beverage up there? No, he actually made him. He had a little bar in there. You can tour his apartment at Disneyland in Anaheim on top of, on top of. Um, it was on top of the Pirates of the Caribbean before they put that fancy guest suite in there, right? And I think it's they moved it over to on top of the firehouse. I thought it was always on top of the firehouse, but I I don't know. Are you confusing well. Disney World with Disneyland? Because I don't, he never got to live in the one here at Disney World because he didn't live long enough because he was only eating one I, I don't baked know. beans a day. But no, he had a little mini bar thing and he would make Tom and Jerry's, which is a type of drink that is a mouse cartoon that is not Mickey. I remember, <laughs> but, okay, yeah, but also like before that, it was another color. weird cartoon. What is uh, it? Tom and Jerry. Was another uh, cartoon. It was a cartoon like back before, in the day. Yes, yes. It was two um, people. It's kind of like Mutt and Jeff. Yeah. Right? But it, it was, was really an goofy. animated cartoon. Well, but anyways, there was a yeah. drink called that. And that was Walt Disney would have those. And he'd have his can of beans every day. And then you die when you're in your 60s instead of when you're 100, I guess. I don't know. James said, I saw the frame Walt check at the Art of Disney for nine grand. Oh my, that's what I mean. His signature. I mean, if you, if you can get Walt Disney's signature on a check, 
But if you have his autograph, that that there aren't going to be more of those. That's kind of like cooler than getting a president's autograph or something. I think it is. Well, I remember it was actually at what was that store? Maybe twenty years ago at downtown when it was called Downtown Disney in Florida before it was Disney Springs. They had a shop that was autographs and things. It was by Pop Gallery. Was it? Was it? Was, was it, it at the? Gallery? Was it at the opposite end of the same giant structure? Yes. Yes. I remember yes, that. It was. And they I don't had, remember what it was called though. But they, it was Starabilia. Remember Abilia yes. something? Yeah, and it, I, it did, didn't kind of have a connection somehow to uh, uh, the uh, Planet Hollywood. You know, I think it did later after they got co-branded after they moved to. Yeah, but you, yeah, you could get like yeah. weird guitars autographed. Like, yeah, hey, there's an Eddie Van Halen like, guitar. Co-Ringas. That was an um, Hollywood Studios at the time. That but was they cool. Had, they had. I like that place. They I, had I didn't buy anything. An Abraham but I liked it. Lincoln signature on something. What? Yes, they did. It uh-uh. was like 154000 What? It was, they really nah, did. I, I don't, I don't uh-uh. Google it. I Look like it. That's crazy. Up. No, no, they did. They had that. They had uh, John Lennon. They had a few signatures that I think were there. Come in and look at our signature sort of thing. Would you rather have John Lennon or Abraham Lincoln's signature on, let's say, Abraham, on Abraham, no. Abraham Lincoln's signature is on a like kind of boring document for that's what he parliament. was known for yeah and for parliament yeah sure i want uh, yes i want the <laughs> abraham lincoln signature for parliament that's what i want yeah See, I, I don't know <laughs> i would pay a I don't lot of money for that countries um I don't know or john lennon has I don't know. It's like I he, want John Lennon. He has a sign out, sign out, yeah. uh, sign out bill for like when he left uh, the his uh, apartment in in uh, New York or something like that. Do you know where John Lennon signed his disbandment with the Beatles? Where? Yeah, or, where it was couriered no. to him via a Disney assignation at the Polynesian Resort in Walt Disney World. Weird. That is technically where the Beatles broke up. It's true. That is, he was there All with those Julian years later. and Yoko and they're having vacation. And he was like, no, stop bothering me. We're on vacation. Okay, I'll sign your paper. Did the Lennon, did the Lincoln yeah. signature have a certificate off of it? I, um, probably a certificate of authenticity when the person has been dead for like a couple hundred years i don't know the validity of that i would trust his signature more than i would do a fake ass authenticity certificate that the gallery was trying to yeah. yeah i don't know fake ass authenticity oh i thing. should not yeah that's take an that. oxymoron take that take that abraham lincoln take that big let me big help Hollywood. You, george washington I said, take that, big Hollywood. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think we already know Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> take that, big government, <laughs> big president, big, big president, big man, boss baby. Big whatever just sounds like. I they, like it. I want to apply to everything. It's I want to apply big. to Sunshine's agenda and Gamora's big agenda cat. and Tigrio's agenda. Big cat. Big cat agenda. The big cat agenda. I saw that on Tiger King. That kind of was a big cat agenda. It was, actually. Oh, Tiger King. Hey, man, I love Carol Baskin. I'm taking sides right now. Oh. I'm on her side. Not to be controversial, but no. Oh. I'm on Carol Baskin's side all the time. I don't care how many husbands she killed. I'm on her side. Like, nationwide. I know, right? Carol Baskin. Baskin. Robins. 44 flavors. How many flavors does Baskin Robbins have? 31. 31? I thought they had more. When was the last time, the last changed, time you saw a Baskin they Robbins? They changed them a lot. They are the same as, um, oh golly, what is the other company that they were, uh, an ice cream, I should know this. Big thank you, ice cream. Uh, thank I you, uh, Big Queen. Dick Rick 69. Happy you're following us. Thank you. Nice but name, no Baskin sir. Robbins, what is the other name they trade under? I don't know. Mm. It sounds impressive, though, if you're like 
What did they? What other name did they trade under? As opposed to like <laughs> when they're in Nebraska, what are they called? It's like their traveling name. Yeah. When they trade, they wear a special hat too. So Leela has an Andy Circus and a Johnny Depp signature. Oh, cool! Oh, you know what? Both of them are so good at character acting, even though they're both like legit actors, anyways. You kind of want to pigeonhole both of those. What? What I think. Andy Serkis, who is it who I always confuse him with unfairly, even though they're both great? Maddie, you know... Andy Serkis? Yes. Who you confuse him with? Yes. Another, I, I don't know. Another physical actor who, and you're like, no, that's not Jeff- Gollum, it's him. Who is it? Doug Jones? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. No, they're both legit actors, totally. And but I confuse them, and I don't know why. I think it's yes. So guys, do, uh, Doug Jones is in a lot of the um, um, a lot well, of Aquaman, not Aquaman. Um, the Shape Abe. of Water. Abe. Oh wait, he's, well, he's Abe, and he's Shape of Water. Okay, so if I say Aquaman, am I right on both counts? No, Abe from from uh, the uh, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. No, <laughs> that's not where Abe's from. It's uh, regular League. Of I, I can't um. Oh, the devil dude. Um, Guillermo del Toro, yes, Hellboy. Hellboy. So, yeah, someone yes, said Hellboy. Yes, Thank I, you. I, I, I they said Hellboy. Hellboy? Yes. Yeah, okay. Abe's from Hellboy. I know. Abraham Lincoln, we're just talking about. Yes. So, and he does Pan's Labyrinth monsters and stuff. Yes, that would be and Doug I confuse Jones. That's Doug. What, and it's only because. And you confuse him with Andy because they're both dramatic movements. No, honestly, of. it's both. It's because I am interested in the animation industry and they both have been phenomenal oh, what do you even call it space actors when you're just like making use of your little box because you got all the motion captures on you uh, so I, they've I done the thing where they put little dots on you and like a computer it's bigger than a mime and makes it move around huh pantomime no capture uh, motion capture, motion the, capture. The, the computer version of it uh, where you artist. wear a little suit that's got all your joints on it, so if you like wiggle your arms around, it can tell where you're wiggle your arms around. Yeah, yeah that's motion capture, but I, I don't know what to call that sort As of acting. It, I mean, it's not, it is pantomime, panto gesture. Yeah, <laughs> gesturing at your pants. Alone. Okay, we are getting close to story time, guys. Can story I get time. This? I will r- riffle, riffle the page. Riffle. And Jasmine gets to choose a story. I'll bring over the book to her. I just don't know how to make it a democratic within the room. Like, you get to choose. We all get to choose. Let me see. Read a few of them, just because they're hilarious. They are pretty funny. Again, if, if you have, if this is the first time joining us, we are looking at Charles Berlitz's world of strange phenomena. Um, my camera's not laying up. Can you make oh. the thingy go so people can... I will fix it. I've got to plug Charles Burlitz too because I I don't know if his book's getting enough attention. It came out in like what year? 1988. And you have done us a super solid here, Charles Burlitz, because we love your book and we have read this book since 1988. And I am gonna oh photographing the yeti. Hey. Hold it. Hold the naked blade like Meow Yen. <laughs> Photographing the Yeti. Did he home faker or faker? Is the Dutchman still flying? But I like this book because it has strange stories. But all of them are kind of weird, probably sort of made up, old wives tale, creepy pasta sort of stories. But pre-internet. So we could theoretically look up all of these and know they're all made up. But... At the time I was a child, these were things how we got knowledge. How about Suicide Hotel? Only because I want to see if it is about the, um, not the Carlisle. What's the name of the one? Let's see. It's down at the end of Murder Ooh. Street, the Suicide Hotel. Yeah. No, it's, it's, in, so it's in Los Angeles. Uh, the Cecil. C E C I L Sasa Hotel. We know about the um, Lisa Lamb story. You know about the Black Dahlia. If it is about that, then I am on the ball. If not, then it's also an interesting story. So that's good too. What is it? Page 284. Okay. Yeah, there's a. 
Bad golly, there's like a Netflix special about the Cecil Hotel, yeah? If that is it. If it's not, I'm not doing like a trip advisor Wrong thing. One. You probably don't want to stay there. Except for that short one. All right. Last week. Here we go, guys. This is uh Prepare to be amazed. We have no idea Charles what we're talking Charles Berlitz's uh, Suicide Hotel. Can a person tune in to past events? Yeah. Yes. On our Twitch archive. According to Psychic Joan Grant, who was convinced by an experience she had in 1929. Vacationing with her husband on the time. continent, Grant had spent... Wait, is it Versailles? No, that's the teachers that went there, right? Vacation the vacationing right? with her husband on the continent, Grant had spent the night in Brussels' hotel room. For some inexplicable reason, the room made her uneasy. But since no other accommodations were available, she remained. Her husband thought her fears were nonsensical hmm. and soon left to do some errands. Grant finally decided that taking a hot bath would calm her nerves. But when that didn't help, she read and then went to bed. That's when the shock came. For a while lying on the bed, she experienced a frightful vision. A young man seemed to run from the bathroom and hurl himself out the window. Like in her room? Yes. Hmm. She expected to hear the thud of this body striking the ground, but it never came. The perplexed psychic tried to pray, but later on, she experienced the vision again. It was then that Grant concluded her uncomfortable feelings about the room stemmed from an event in the past. A suicide victim, she reasoned, had once rented the room and was now communicating his discomfort to her. She also decided she could free the suicide spirit, or whatever was haunting the room. By merging with it. Like in a Vulcan mind sort of thing? Yes. Her greatest fear, however, was that w that would merge with the suicide too completely and she would plunge her own self out the window. That's really specific for a greatest fear. Taking a chance, she went to the window and said, Your fear has entered into me and you are free. She repeated this message several times before she felt the room suddenly become clear. <laughs> when her husband returned later that evening, Grant was annoyed. You monster, she said, going off like that and deliberately leaving your wife to deal with a suicide. <laughs> no thanks to you that I didn't fall out that window and break my neck. What's the matter, he replied. What happened? This room's been haunted. Mrs. Grant informed him. I told you something was wrong with it. A fellow kept running out of the bathroom and jumping out the window. That would be uncomfortable. I had to shift my level and release him. And I practically went over the edge myself. Mm. The next day, Mr. Grant checked out the story with the hotel manager. <laughs> it turned out <laughs> really? that a suicide had, huh? had actually occurred oh. in the room only five days earlier. When the occupant jumped from the window. So, got a suicide story. Yeah. I have one quick question. This is me being worried about, like, English and semantics. But oh, what okay. is the difference between a suicide victim and a suicide perpetrator? I don't know. Aren't they the same person? Probably. Okay. Otherwise, it's not a suicide so that's the story, guys. Uh, that's what not do you a very think? Very interesting story. 1929. Story. People jumping out of buildings. It sounds like the uh, the attack stock market, the, the stock market thing. Sort yeah. of whatever. Um, you know, it's funny. I didn't mention when I thought it was a haunted hotel. I thought it was gonna be the Cecil Hotel. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered. But when um, a lot of people don't know, you can look it up. But the Black Dahlia's father was one of the fake. 1929 suicides for stockbrokers in New York when the ah. stock market crashed. He pretended to jump out a window and went to California to start a new life with a new wife and a bunch of new kids. And that is why Elizabeth Short moved out there to California 
the Black Dahlia because to go reconnect with her dad. And then she got murdered. It's shortly. always the dad. But it's funny because I, or it's not funny, but I thought it was about the Cecil Hotel. And that was the last place she was seen, yeah? And we watched that Lisa Elam yeah. show and all that. But that was a different hotel. Maybe people shouldn't go to hotels. So... That's what I take uh, away from that. James says, makes me think of the movie 1408. Yeah, me too. That's a great too. movie. That is, that's a fun movie. And Leo said, fascinating story. It, it feels like a segment, kind of, like from an anthology. Maybe it's because it was a short story. This, these are with, generally anthologies of whatever, I mean, the strange phenomena. Yeah, except they're all written by the wonderful, masterful Charles I was talking about 1408, the movie, Charles the John Berlitz. Cusack movie. How oh, I thought, and, I see. and I'm like, it feels like it would be it one does. third of like a trilogy of terror. But I don't know if I think that because it was, was that in Four Past Midnight? What was that? I don't know. It was one of the Stephen King books when it was like, here's three cool stories I wrote when nobody was even paying attention. And he comes out with them all the time. And I really like that one. And I like the movie version of it better than the book. Sometimes that happens. I sometimes think I don't want to tell somebody how to do their job, but sometimes with some of Stephen King's books, not all of them, I feel like they're almost more like screen written than they are book written. Well, maybe not perhaps, that Dan Brown. I don't want to. I don't want to speak. I don't want to speak for family, Stephen King. Maybe no, when that's he's what I'm saying. creating I, it, maybe he's thinking about it being a movie. Maybe so. Maybe and he inadvertently that, he making it a bit screenwritey. That's cool, to, though. Yeah, that, that is that's cool. cool. Well, and think about his personal experience. If you think about his early novels, something like Carrie, it's like that was one of his first big books, but it was also he, a <laughs> kick-ass movie well, that well, is kind of yeah. really referenced every day by everybody. So maybe he doesn't know the difference between making something between writing and being a movie. Hey, y'all. Didn't know you started streaming on Wednesdays already. Gosh, Glenn, I'm pretty either. sure it's Tuesday. Oh it's Tuesday, are, Glenda. Are they in Australia? Oh, they could be in Australia. Or Mars? Or uh, Mercury? Where are they? Glenda, where are you? Where are you, Glenda? But it, yeah, it could be. Unless I've been doing this longer than I thought I have. I am slapping. It probably is Wednesday. <sighs> Shouldn't I be at Disney Springs now? <laughs> uh, Wednesday, tomorrow, I will be at Disney Springs from 4 to 7 at the Marketplace Co-op. I'll be drawing. I'll be signing autographs as part of my artisan showcase at the Wonderground Gallery at I, the Marketplace. I'll I be there as Springs well. Matt, and you I'll can look there. at me and be like, uh. No, yeah, try to look at me first. Then look at Matt. <laughs> and then look back at me. Look at the artwork. Slightly ashamed. Oh, no, look at the artwork look first. Look at the artwork. Then you don't even have to look at either of us. The artwork's way better. Way South better. Carolina. South Carolina okay, yeah. uh, has it is the Wednesday anomaly. There. I think it's last Wednesday there, though, isn't it? It's, it's next Wednesday there. Oh. Always, always ahead. That's South Carolina's motto. What? What? Hey, what's the what's the um what is the what's the state the, tree of, of it, South Carolina? I'm well, not. isn't there um thing the Palmetto State? South Carolina was that mm-hmm. Palmetto State? Isn't it? I'm sorry. I asked yeah. somebody in South Carolina. Don't ask a Missouri girl. The Missouri is a, is a, is a show the at your stuff state. state. The FE state. The show the 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 me state. M. The show me state. My. This is Florida. Is the Sunshine State where it Sunshine is. lives? Sunshine. Named after our kitty who's on vacation. Sunshine is, is on, vacation. on vacation. She is not here. She's and not I here. am not lying. You guys might think I'm making up a story Sunshine. about Sunshine being on like vacation. Sunshine but owns she a vacation. Is we don't on vacation. Want, we don't want to be like the barren couple that we platform our cats like they're no. children. But she does no. have her own vacation. She now. is. I'm it's serious. Florida, she is literally right. on vacation. And you guys would never believe me, but Sunshine no. is on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. She's not at the vet. The room can't She's believe at it, her Jasmine. Pool. What's you that? just the room cannot believe what we just said. You should see this text line up. What's it say? It says uh, Palmetto. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But Sunshine is on vacation. Sunshine is on vacation. She, she was poolside this morning. Hiatus, but I think that's pretend. She was poolside this morning. I saw her. She was. Yeah. Yes. I saw a photo. I saw and a video. She, uh, she uh, told me to leave her alone, and she, she was going to stay on vacation. Words, but yeah, now it's true. 
So she was very, very happy to be on vacation. Sunshine's a honey cat. And um, I tried to retrieve her from vacation, and she bit the crap out of yep. me. Yep, and hissed at you and scratched She it. hissed at me and scratched me and, and bit my hand. And she's a good cat. She's yeah. the good cat. Mm. She basically said, F you, daddy. Mm-hmm. I ain't going home. Man is censoring it heavily, but that is Yes, F you, daddy, I ain't going home. Yeah. I want to stay here. I'm like, okay, stay here then. Yep. You bad kitty. Glad we don't have like a five year old kid. Gamera's here. Gamera I don't trust Gamera here. to go on vacation. Hey, a Gamera doesn't deserve a vacation. What? What? We're not going to buy vacation houses. I'll get her. I'll get the bring, bring her. Bring Tigrio. Tigrio's a honey cat. She's a good girl. She's pretty tough. Ooh, hey, oh, my cat Shut up. Something oh, that was like down. exercise with your cat. Down, fat kitty, okay. fat kitty, upside down. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Come, here. Come here, baby. Fat kitty, Come here, and baby. putting the bottom Come in baby. Jasmine's face. Baby, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, focus your eyes, Gammy. You're focus. Look cr- you look cross-eyed, baby. Let's no. Focus. No. Okay, she's gonna <laughs> try to bite me. Here, just can't put this on film. Sorry, folks. Go away. <laughs> To bring up men's adventure again. But... She flipped the claw at you, Matt. She totally did. She did. She totally did. Mm-hmm. Vampires are in this year. Sure. I, you know, I, I never not like vampires. Yeah. I is... like I like certain types of vampires more than others. I prefer my vampires... Uh... Less sparkly? No, you know, I'm... I'm uh, yeah, I'm a bit classical. I like a nice Victorian vampire. I'm simple that way. A nice, beautiful, lovely Victorian vampire. Favorite vampire stories are when vampires are more like monsters, more like a zombie, or more like a legit resurrected corpse. Like people are like, "Oh, we dug up the coffin and the the mouth had blood on it." I like those sorts of stories. I like the Highgate vampire. The Highgate vampire? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's Victorian. No, he's, he's- Victorian. He's actually still alive. He's just like checked. Victor. No, you might be watching. I like the- I like the vampires in that silly TV show. Which what one? we do in the shadows. What we do in the shadows. That is a great show. I yes, I like Gary Oldman's Bram Stoker's jacket. I like that. I like him. Me too. Yes, that was good. he's cool. I like that a lot. I like the an- interview of the vampire. Those are my favorite vampires. Oh, the Anne Rice vampires. Yeah, Anne Rice vampires are cool. Yeah. Simon Pegg and Shaun of the Dead is hilarious. Simon Pegg is great. I like Shaun of the Dead. Of the Cornetto trilogy, I think Shaun of the Dead is actually my least favorite of the three, which is probably an I've heard that from opinion. a lot of people, actually. I like World's End a lot. Hot Fuzz is one of my favorite movies of all time, though. Hot so Fuzz is, 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 is to, mine, my favorite. It's hard to not like that one more than the other ones. But I did like World's End more than Shaun of the Dead. So, they're eh, like aliens more than zombies. I did not no, I like. I did not like a vampire in Brooklyn. I didn't see that one. That's Eddie Murphy as a vampire in Brooklyn. Is it a comedy? There are not really. Well, there are some. There are Eddie some Murphy funny in parts in it, but th- that it's not. No, it's not a comedy. Well, why did they put? Eddie it just Murphy wasn't my d- my thing. Uh huh. They didn't ask you for. I think Nigel looks a little like Gary Oldman in Bram Stoker's Dracula. You're probably right because Gary Oldman can kind of look like everybody. Can you know? I mean, he's I, like I want to see. Vicious. I want to see he's... Nigel uh, deck out in the the cool look. You know where he Do has the little Whitney. sunglasses. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The that top would be cool. hat and the what are they? Kind of violet colored like John Lennon glasses he has, and it. I forget. But that'd be great for Whitney. I loved Paul with Simon Pegg. That's good. A Seth uh, Rogen is as an alien. I did not see that. It's one. funny. It's good. Did you watch it's it well on done. an airplane? Yes. Okay. I, I watch it on an airplane. Ted and I haven't seen either one, and for some reason I lump them together. One of my all time favorite movies is Clerks too, says James. Okay. With the um Again with uh the the grassy Kevin crowd. Smith <laughs> and <laughs> with, with with the Degrassi freaks and geeks crowd. 
Uh, Clark, yeah, it's uh, the follow the color version. Yeah, Ultraviolet no, a, is a good top, vampire film. Which one? Uh, Clerks two. I said it's the oh. color the color version because it's uh the original it's, Clerks is black yes, and white. Yeah, it's yeah. not the CCTV um, surveillance film. No, no, no. Yeah, which I thought I, I kind of liked that they did that. If you're the first person to do it, it's pretty cool. Jay and Silent Bob. Jay and often not that Silent Bob. You know, there's a lot of dialogue there. It's, Sil- he's not like Teller. Silent Bob sounds like in a. It's more like a, a description of a verb. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I did a Silent Bob. No one could silent hear me. Bob. Bob picked up my shoes. Nobody noticed. Yeah. Whoop. Silent Bob. Actually, of Jay and Silent Bob, I I think I prefer Jay. Yeah. Well, Jason Mewes. Yes. Mm. Well, the the character Jay. Oh. Um, I I think that he uh, he reminds me of uh, wrongly probably of guys that I thought were cool. Like real people. When I was know, let, let's say I was ten and they were like fifteen, I would okay. think that that's what what a cool guy was like. Hanging out. Like you're so cool. I love you. Yes. But yeah, I I would have thought he was cool as a kid. Oh my gosh. Really? Hey, I want to see who it is. Let it go. No, I let I just no. Okay. You expecting a call? No, I'm not. That's why I hung it up. That's the point. He's on Twitch, Jay. Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Jason Muse is often streaming the same time you guys are. He's really cool in person. Oh, so is Way he more like chill my than the character. and I didn't know it all along? Is it's he competition. competition. Well, he probably has a bunch of people. What sort of up... paintings does he do? No, just kidding. <laughs> he probably plays video games. I bet he does. I wish I were that cool. Kevin Smith has a, lost a ton of weight. He has. He's gone plant-based and he's right to do so. Dante from Corks is also on Twitch. Really? Yeah. That's. I don't know what to think hey. about all this. Good. Cool. Yeah, sure. Hey, we're in good company. Oh, at least it's not. Are they? Is he playing video games too? I don't care. I'm not there to tell people not to play video games. I'm not their mom. I hope he's more yeah, chill than his character in real life. My God, I don't think it. It's I wouldn't let anyone cool. anyone I mean, keeping up that level of energy all the time. Ah. Oh. Oops. No, he mostly does interviews. Oh, does Kevin he interview? also had a stroke, so he has some health concerns. My God, but I hope he gets better. I am. Yeah. I I I used Is to be. Is that why he got into being healthy? I don't know. I used to be more of a Kevin healthy. Smith fan. I, I I I not as much anymore. Is it? Yeah. I, I just I I, honestly, I, I saw his um, I saw his stuff as kind of after a while. It's kind of it felt a uh, kind of formulaic. No. I, I, it's hard. I don't know. I'm more of a... Did um, you feel he had a target audience? Definitely. But okay. it's like, I, I don't know. I mean, some of the some of the jokes, I'm like, ah, it's kind of low-hanging Jersey fruit there. I don't know. Yeah. It's like the donkey thing. I'm like, no. That's oh, not that funny to me. Oh, that's tasteless. He's well, better than that. That's he what knows. I'm saying. He's, he, that, you know yeah, what? I, I, also, did, I did not think that scene I at all was funny. Like it turned me he, off. He knew he bit. was better than that while yeah. they were making that movie. So my my alignment Maybe so. is not falling with either of anybody with that. Yeah, I, I know how people can get but to hey, weird places and they. Don't I might. Either. I'm probably in the minority there. I, I hear a lot of people love that scene. Mm-hmm. I just like okay. I don't like talking to people who eh. come up specifically to tell me that they love that scene. Well, I, we have we have a friend th- uh, <sighs> that wouldn't stop laughing at that scene in in almost a creepy sort of way. And mention it a few times. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I'm happy he's. uh, I'm happy he's uh, lost weight. I know that's that's hard. It's hard to keep that weight off. It's very difficult. Well, also he did it in a really good way that is very lifestyle based, and it's like, no, I'm not going to eat animals anymore. I'm going to do this and that, and it's like, yeah, if you do that forever, you're not going to have problems with that anymore. Hey, another news. Talk about healthy people. Shatner turned 90 yesterday, William guys. William Shatner's birthday was 90. yesterday. And he is 
90 years old. 90. I was that listening is... to a podcast and they were gonna, they were guessing how old Shatner was, right? It's like he they were like, guess how mm, many gumballs are I'm going to guess he's 67. Or... I'm going to guess he's 72. And it's 90. Shatner is 90. I see him in real life lot because we do a lot of the same conventions and if i didn't know better yeah i would think he's my dad's age like he's in his 60s or early 70s he's 90 wow william shatner is not i get just mm-hmm. i feel like i i can't believe it it's amazing to me it is it's tuesday and william shatner is 90 two very good biographies by Shatner himself, which I've would be uh, uh, um, Actually, I've one. One is both. one is quite the joke. The other one is very heartfelt and very well written. Amazing. Yes, and I knew, I like them Amazing. both. Though the one that is actually pretty heartfelt is sad. There's some legit depressing. There stuff is a, there is a loss of a loved one in there that really really, really yeah, touched me. It is sad. Um, and you can see how that could sometimes happen. But yeah, like, the Shatner. Oh God, um, your example. This is yeah. I need to eat less he baked goods. Really Maybe it's a hard. good thing I don't live near Gideon's or Disney Springs. I still have not been to I Gideon's. I haven't been to Gideon's, and now I think everybody has frightened me into not going there because everybody's like, have you been to Gideon's? I'm like, if you go there, do you have to keep going there? Is it, it sounds like, like it's, they put the have crack you tried in tried heroin? Yeah, it sounds like people really like it, and I don't. I, I, I don't want to get in the habit of what, when you work uh, it's somewhere not so, that you get the junky food It every reminds time you go me of there. when something's cool. And you have like it's like a TV show that you haven't watched. It's like, do you watch Seinfeld? It's like, no, my I haven't seen it yet. It's like, what's what's wrong with can you? Can you make my thing go? You Sorry. could just say, hey, press the bumper. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't ever want to say that. Press the bumper. Put that on a bumper sticker on your hair. <laughs> but yeah, but no, Gideon's. Um, I have not been Gideon's there. Gideon's is. I, hear I it's don't. Really cool. I don't even know I hear where Gideon's. Gideon, is Gideon, what's where is, is Gideon's? Where Pop Gallery used to be? It's, is that the one? No, no, it's not that one. That's like. Places are there. Or I don't the know. I, the, I, thing, I, the, the thing, I the problem I'm is, sure all awesome, the problem is when actually, people talk to you and I about that, it's neither yours or my personal culture. So I think it's weird. It's like you haven't been to the donut place. What the hell? What's wrong with you guys? What's up? God, you, you're stupid. I like I your art, but you're dumb. On both hands, God, you're the dumb. The amount of donuts I've had my whole life, like yeah. from a restaurant. But. I'm I, happy that there are things like that. Yes, I, I it's, hate, a, it's vacation. Yeah. Yes. I, just because it's my work, it doesn't mean it's other people's not their Somewhere vacation. near Raglan Road. It's good by, it's by Sprinkle Cupcakes. That's what I'm saying. Why is, there's. It's next is to it, Sprinkle Cupcakes. Okay. Between the donut store, the pastry shop, and the cinnamon roll Once factory. upon a time. Yeah. Okay. There was a middle section of Disney, and I didn't enjoy. I didn't go and, and have a fun didn't time with this take either. Advantage no, I didn't take it. There was like dance clubs mm-hmm. where people would dance Legit around. Night like, clubs. Let's go to mannequins and they did dance clubs. Let's go to the um, BET yeah. lounge or let's go to here. And then there was Adventures Club. Adventures yeah. Club. So there were all these places where people danced and you know did all this mannequins. exercise, and now it's like, yeah, well, let's go to donut. <laughs> donut. <laughs> <laughs> was, what go to Disney it's Springs like, uh, and get a two donut? Donuts? Man, are you gonna wake up tomorrow? I want, you but the thing go, is, I want. Have a at 9 you're have three it's not donuts. just one donut place. It's like there's a donut, new donut place every week. I know. It's amazing. No, it's cool. I'm, I'm. Happy. See, that's what this, Tigger's like. Yeah, we got, we got Gideon's yesterday. They're half pound each. And, oh, God, I can't I do know. that. I can't like, do that. I rather have uh, like. Uh, Eight thousand of the vegan chicken nuggets and have like one donut because I I don't know I'm I, I love that people do that though <laughs> oh, it yeah, makes me no, happy totally. that, that that there's yeah, a, there's I, that, I know that, that oh, there yeah. is Jasmine Jasmine have you heard if you have your COVID like proof of your vaccine my think, mom's told me twice I think Katie so put, yes no and okay. I've never had a Krispy Kreme that means donut you, in my you life. can get one every day forever yes. You can get it daily. Wow. Well, it's not like they stamp it or punch a hole in it like it's a subway card. It has a donut if, and I have a hole in it. The, your COVID I'm teasing you, ID. I don't have one. <laughs> They've been out of stock. Probably. It's easier to learn how to eat a donut than learn how to dance. You are very <laughs> right. Very good. I agree. Whoever said that is very clever. Oh my, Krispy Kremes are amazing. Even better when they are hot. See, I, I, the, we have a we I have think a, a cold donut 
know that sounds better than a yes, hot I'm donut. Yes, I just, I'm, I don't know. I love I the donut culture, I but I am not part of the donut culture. I I'm respect pa- it. I like, um, <laughs> but I like that, uh, burns the bread, the, a veggie sausage. Burns in the bread, vegetarian sausage rolls, two locations, Glastonbury, England, bring like a pound and a half with you, like do- dollar wise, not like a half a pound yep. donut, but like a actual money wise and those are magnificent those have kept me going through so many shows in the uk i'm one of those people that if i eat a donut i i think i think i see where it went on my body the next day oh i can see like later in the day kind of like if it, shut up jasmine poking out huh shut up <laughs> jasmine does not count you can't you, you're not allowed to talk about count. that yeah. i'm surprised we haven't heard about the weed donut fusion shops we don't have those in Florida. In Florida, like Do cannabis we wise, we just have medical cannabis. But uh, California has stuff like that, I think. I haven't had any of them, but that's pretty cool. I mean, where was that place in, was it in Seattle, Voodoo Donut, that would have like NyQuil donuts and stuff? And Something. they got in trouble for it? Something like that. Yeah, they have like donuts soaked in NyQuil, which is... I think the definition of like lowest common denominator, like what stuff do you want in the morning? Donut stuff. Not Michael, a huge donut horrible. person either. That's uh, I'm not, not a huge donut person I'm either. Sorry, was gonna happening. try that Glacier Bay. Okay. But I was too full from the Gideons to do the donut as well. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I, I tried to. Uh, Brian says I try. Are you? Are you? Are you our local Brian? Because I I never knew. You know. I know I, a lot of Brians. <laughs> I tried to sign up for the vaccine now that the age restriction changed at the convention center. Ooh, what and age local is that, Neil? And local news said that 7,000 appointments were gone within minutes. Well, that's another people with their one vaccine. That's yeah. just one step closer to the, the, one the end. There's a place yeah. here where you can play games and eat donuts. It's called Donuts and Dragons. Okay, Starwind, I would I would be down for that. Yeah, that, and there's dragons would, and if you like add, tabletop gaming. If involved, you add an entertainment there. factor to it, I'm there. I would do that then. Does the Dave's I would do that. have donuts? Maybe. But I would just I've eat the other thing. Uh, Jane says, I, there's not much for us there, though, is there? I don't I, know. I got first shot today, haven't died yet, so I'm happy. Hey! No, I am, I am honestly interested in people's um, personal experiences with the vaccine. I've had bad reactions to various vaccines in my life, and I really want the COVID one. But I'm worried it's going to make me sick or throw up or get the flu okay. because every vaccine I've ever done. So Fairy Bell says, I'm scheduled for the Monday after Easter. We're scheduled for Disney. <gasps> yes. <laughs> uh, but um, that's that's super cool. Uh, yeah, Tigger says, oh, Jasmine. Oh, hey. Oh, Jasmine, if you ever see hot donuts now, sign uh, at Krispy Kreme. Stop. Okay. You will not be disappointed. Do they, what do they do it like twice a year on the Sabbath? What is it? How, why do they not do it in the morning every day? I don't know. Do Vegas has a few weed bakeries, but not donuts yet, I don't think. If I ever see you in person, yeah. you might want. I can, I've got a strange story for you, OG. Ooh, okay, um, yes. I live in Kissimmee, Does it so, Las Vegas? so yes, a local. Okay. Oh hey, yeah. I oh I do love coffee now, says Glenda. Oh, cool. And OG Wild Guest says I'm a Brian too. It's like I'm a John G. <laughs> I'm a John G. I like Brian's. Brian's I, I tend to get along with Brian's. My friends. Yeah. I know. I it, it gets to the point. I call people Matt, David, Brian, or what's that, the other name that comes up? All you the like time. Robins as well. Robins. Yes. I Dodgeball and Donuts. I oh, got Robins. All I think I, you know that's good because you could work it off. Oh yeah, totally. Didn't fill a thing, and I'm about your size, Jasmine. Oh really? Oh. Okay. For the the thing. That's well, good. That sounds like a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> I've had my first one and I was okay. My second is on 23rd of April. Okay. And that's a Brit. That's our friend Kelly Sarah. Oh, okay, cool. Um, oh, I just saw 28 Days Later a few nights ago. That's not a bad oh, zombie flick. That's, that is actually that's pretty kind good. of I like the that one. way I prefer my zombie movies. Yeah. It well, I remember when that one came out, it's like fast, fast zombies it. were not a thing. And then they started mm, being a thing and they were scary. Yeah. Fast zombies are scary. Fast they have donuts, zombies. hot donuts every day, Jasmine. They have a light that tells you if they are hot. <laughs> wow! I love it's like this a bat, complicated it's like the bat culture symbol. they build around it. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. Donuts Donuts are not... That's the thing, Jasmine, is we are not... I don't know. You it, think I can buy 
and honestly, my mom worked at Winchell's yeah. and would have to get up also at 4 o'clock in the oh. morning every day and go work at the donut Glenda store. Glenda did not like 28 Days Later. <laughs> What's that? Nigel's looking for the glasses. Oh, sweet. Glasses for Whitby so he can look like Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yes. Yeah. What, are, what, Hot what, what, slash now like, several times a day. Violence or whatever. Why can't they always keep him heating up? A few times a day, there are hot glazed donuts. You know, I can do that for myself in my own house. Why can't Krispy Kreme do that, like, with all their billion locations? I've never been to their establishment, but I have to be judgmental. What is, um, Duncan? is that the other one, Dunkin' Donuts, that has the, um, thing that's like a vegetarian sausage sandwich that you get me in? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that thing is do, good. Do, you know, that but, doesn't count as a but donut. But generally, honestly, though, right? is that a donut? I, it's not no. a good sandwich. No, it, but it's, it's, that's, it's a, that's a biscuit. It's not a great sandwich. A, that's a biscuit but, and, a, and a and a fake meat, Jasmine. Yeah, that's a that's a egg McMuffin without the egg. But a donut Thanks. can have Nyquil and weed in it. Mm, okay. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I don't know okay, all, for all you people that love Krispy Kreme, I grew up with a donut place called Holtz Donuts. So he's never going to enjoy Beer. anything other than that again because they do have superior donuts. They I've do. I've not had many yeah. donuts. Do me a favor if you I have so. Those. Hey, uh, Kansas City people, go yes. to oh, oh, go to Grandview. Go to Grandview. It, well, I'm sorry. Keep going. You got to yeah. go to Grandview and go to Holtz Donuts on Main Street. H O L T E apostrophe S. That's apostrophe. Yeah. Who knows how they do it? In and um, it is better than Krispy Kreme. I feel. I feel like. If I bet somebody a million dollars that it was better than Krispy Kreme, I have not been to Krispy Kreme, but I bet it is better than that. All right, let's pick this winner. And this is for the My Zombie Kitty Pen. Veggie Mech. Hey, I like your name. Congratulations. We'll give you a Veggie new one Mac. that isn't covered with paint. And I will sign the back and we'll ship it to you anywhere in the world. Just look out for Matt's instructions in the chat room. Yeah. Veggie Mac, like a Big Mac, but Veggie, veggie? Mac, like a Mac. Mac, a robot. Oh, Mac. like a robot. Oh, cool. Really big robots. Fighting All right, let's start group. that new raffle. And the what? In this one, we this don't. This is the. This is the prize wheel. We don't know what the wheel. prize is yet. We'll know the winner, and then we'll have the spinning thing, and we'll know. You know what you could win, Jasmine? An original painting. Oh, my gosh. Are, the chances are not it's high, but that. it's on there. It's on there. It's on there, guys. Better than the lottery. Better than the lottery. Okay. And I see a lot of people asking for $7 scratchers, Jasmine. I have seen how many people play the lottery every you know, three days or whatever. They put it on FloridaLottery.com. No, I'm talking about scratchers, millions. Jasmine. Just oh. scratchers. Just sheer scratching. All you talk about is your scratch-off Scratchers. Scratch. When I was a little girl, my dad would always buy us five lottery tickets, like scratch-off tickets on our birthday. And we, we never won a whole lot from it, but we had a lot of fun talking about what we would do with it with one, and even more so, how we would try to finagle the idea of claiming the money when we were like nine years old, and how do you say that you won a million dollars? So we'd think about lies or drying, uh, I don't know, wearing my dad's clothes or making my mom do it or something. I don't know how one would win the lottery if they had a ticket and they weren't 18 yet. One time I won fifty dollars though and made my dad get it. Jasmine, have you been to Buffalo, New York? No. Well, I got I got some news for you. Uh oh. If you go to Buffalo, mm -hmm. there's a place called Paula's Donuts. Okay. That have third best donut shop in New York State. Okay. They load the donuts with cream. It's overkill too much for me, says James. That's probably too much for me then. That sounds good. I will take I will take custard over cream because it's less sweet it has more eggs and it's in it. more cream i like to know if i'm having frosting it's got a bunch of raw eggs in it how about you custard no i don't i don't like custard all that much but i like cream. custard's last stand i've never been to montana so the next time we go to buffalo we're gonna go to paula's yes i will Hey, is it like a it's local like enough thing that they have it at the airport at Buffalo? You know, like have you go to like out west? They is have it a one-off, James? Or like, 
things that are, or like how we're talking about MCO, the Orlando Airport. Yeah, there's like a, a Disney and a Universal store and things. That's my favorite MC. <laughs> Mine's Escher. Mine's MCO. Mm. Wow, do you know, Maddie, legit how much cooler MC Escher is than the Orlando Airport? Seven. All right. Sorry. You will never win if you don't play. It's true. Is that a lottery, tagline yeah. from a movie, Glenda? No, it is. What are you trying to tell us, Glenda? From the Powerball lottery, folks. Oh, it's their sort of inspirational. Oh. You miss a hundred percent. I thought of the it was from like child's play or take. something. It is kind of like that. Have you guys ever made it to Buffalo? And it's we have okay made, do we have to go we, to we buffalo st we still haven't like been there. the third person today to ask me that now. we still have not made it to buffalo not since somebody asked eight seconds ago no. yes we've, okay. we we've heard of it i've heard but about we, we it. have not not been i to like buffalo. your cows your cows are so much furrier than regular cows <laughs> most i won was 300 dollars on a 10 dollar card oh, that's not bad it was before mother's day last year oh Ooh. i that's uh, that, you know, speaking of airports, like Kansas City's airport, they have those lottery tickets that are $30 okay. each for a scratch-off okay. ticket. What's up with that? Uh, guys, I've, I've been to like 700 airports, mm -hmm. and nothing, nothing compares to the awesomeness that is the Kansas City uh, International Airport. It is an international airport. Their lottery it, tickets cost so much. It is there. amazing. No, they are the like Kansas City airport is though. the best place on the planet. I go there just to chill. I've heard that. But no, we did go there before on purpose when we were dating. You remember this? I didn't want to bring that up, Jasmine. I, I played uh, Moon Patrol, was it? Oh, I'll just... Yeah. <laughs> there Reposting this because I think it got lost in a raffle. It does because it scrolls by so quick. You should check out the movie Resort, which it's R-E with a Z-O-R-T, Jasmine. Cool. It's a zombie island safari movie with a... A really a pretty cool plot and plot to us. It sounds that cute. That's good. I'll watch it. What? $30 each? Nah. Yes. Look up um, lottery, mo.com, molottery.com. They have scratch off tickets at the airport at MCI, not to be confused with MCO, that's Orlando, but Kansas City's airport has $30 scratch off tickets. You can MCI buy at is the my airport. least favorite MC. So but, the but the Kansas City the much. Kansas City Airport Jasmine's mm -hmm. going to go through a, a revamp or a, a, a renaissance. Hmm? I've been hearing yeah. that since I was. It, they've got plans, Jasmine. No, they got budgets, and they sound like they're the same sort of thing. I think they need a new jingle or something. I think so too. They could start with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, budgets. sniper schnitzel. Yeah, the Kansas City Airport. It's awesome schnitzel. Have you been? All the cool kids hang out there. It's, it's hipsters. It's all hipsters all the time. If you like tight, tight pants and um, wooly hats that you don't need because it's 800 degrees outside, that's where you go. That's not true. Sometimes it's like negative 800 degrees there. They, it's still the wooly hat. Okay. I've been there in the one in Olathe. There's an airport in Olathe? You, Schnitzel, I'm I like think you're a Olathe. connoisseur. I think you know what I I'm like, talking about. I, yeah, I was going to say, I like it when people know more about airports than I do, like, from where I'm from. Schnitzel says they're the, they're only, like, five and a half hours away. you got to travel for that level of uh, <laughs> of excellence. If you're at an airport, it just does not are come you easy. kind of traveling? It's not like you're, you know, where you run around like idiots on July 4th and shoot off fireworks it, on your father-in-law's land and act like a goofball uh, I do it on for my a while dad's land. that the, uh, you do it on that the airport is literally five minutes from there or anything like that yeah. no the ffa no. doesn't care i have a model aircraft on every continent but ant <laughs> but antarctic so do a lot of airport planes cool cool i don't know if you're making a elaborate joke or my models care. are full scale oh, that's, that's cool i like that way. that's good yeah. That's funny. I, like I have a map of America. It's 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 one one scale. <laughs> if I unfold that, everybody dies. I keep it in America. One thousand. I went on the one thousand, but it was because it was nine hundred ninety nine dollars. I had to pay taxes on it. Mm 
Mm. I told them I oh, would give you the Oh, you own the lottery? Yeah, you got to pay That's like weird. 38% um, in taxes huh. if you win the lottery. That's the downside. Of, but then also it's like run by the state government. It seems like, I mean, it's kind of their side hustle to make well, money for like schools and things. What's or a like P51? An, the, what's this that? Schnitzel says they do life-size full-scale models of planes. If you're if you're telling the truth, that is awesome. Either way, I was it's looking. Awesome. I was actually looking into uh, the this little pilot school yeah, down the street. Here in Orlando, it's a World War II fighter. Oh, is it the one with the shark? I always wanted to fly the one with the shark. Oh, they, a lot of people just drew those on the front of those. Uh, like if you you got to decorate your own airplane. I thought they were seaplanes. Oh, some of them are. They got to get their cut. Uh. I'm not sure what that's in reference to, James, but I believe you. Everybody's always needing some sort of cut. Yeah. I did the full-scale B-24 for the Virginia Science and Industry Museum. Oh, cool. Dang, Sniper Schnitzel. That's neat. You make... I feel like I've done nothing. It's like, yeah, I paint mermaids. I'm like sorry. I I've, I've, you guys I've had real jobs. Done. Quit bragging in our... It's taking over the room. Wow. You, you, you go, girl. Get it. Go that, get it, No, girl. honestly, jokes aside, that is... that that is. No, that is legit. Cool. I, I also cool. did the yeah. B-24 for the movie Unbroken. Really? What? Wow. What? I, somebody else, I guess somebody else did. That's neat. I guess... I am I doing mean, 17th and 18th century sailing ships. Sniper, do you have a that's girlfriend? That's neat. Why the, you you want them to apply? <laughs> yeah, the state taxes on lotto winnings. Uh, oh, that's what James says. Yeah, they, I know. They need I cut. Yeah, but gotcha. you're buying them from the state government. They're using that money for the U.S. Board of Schools or whatever. So why do you then have to pay taxes after they give I don't you? Know. Why don't they just give you less money? Sniper Maybe says I did the easier. submersible for the Transformers Five movie. That's oh good. That, I bet all the money that movie made went I, straight to you. I love. Submersibles. Look at so my much. stream. I have some of the ship CAD work videos there. Cool. The computer I'm aided name. drafting schematics, really? I That's like cool. me some submersible schematics, and I am not lying, am I, Maddie? I've contacted private purveyors yes. of submarines t to my specifications, yeah? Yes. That is cool. That's cool, Schne that Schne is super Sniper. Cool. That is too cool. And and now you're following us. Wow. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll check out your stream you're when I can. You're super cool. We will then, because you're following us. Yeah, that, that's that's wacky. <laughs> that's a strong word. Are you sure you meant to say well, that? I, I, I don't know what else to say. That's okay. it's amazing. It is. It's like, what do you do, Matt? I'm like, I I work for my <laughs> wife, and I just I I arm wrestle Godzilla <laughs> daily. I win. I win half the time. And I win. I fought God once. He loses most of the time. When sniper schnitzel, I can do that sort of thing. I just feel I feel almost nearly emasculated by. I build by boats. everything. What? <laughs> I build boats. No. I was on the news once as a kid. <laughs> See, that's. That, I was yes. too. <laughs> Reaching for excellence. I have microfilm for five World War II aircraft plus the shipyard microfilm for PT. PT boats, Fletcher class destroyers, and World War II landing craft. Okay, by microfilm, are they talking about the schematics, like the blueprints? Or uh, the they will probably answer. Okay. I, I will let because, you know. Okay. I'm, I have private yes. interests in this. Yes, okay. it does. All right. Are you able to rebuild any of these? Can you license the schematics? Jazz wants yeah. a submersible vehicle to go visit Porcelain and the other mermaids. I do, yes. actually. Yes. Yeah. My aunt does watercolor paintings, and I showed her some of your work. Oh, and she said you inspire her since she's doing it for 30-plus years. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you. I some... think a lot of people don't think about it, but acrylics are technically a water media, if you think. It's kind of oh, for like sure. doing... Yeah, it, it's more akin to something like watercolors than it is something like oil painting. Some are nice, some are hard to read, the schematics, okay. microfilms. Yeah. I have sub plans I've somewhere. I've microfiche. It is underwater. Oh man, I love microfish. Remember those days where you go to the library and you look at the microfish? I do. Yeah. 
Here's the, the Kansas City Star. I was looking at Kansas City Star when I was yeah. a kid. When I was a kid. Mm-hmm. I don't even. I can. Can you access something like the Kansas City Star Online, on Microfish yes, here? Like if you I went can, to Orlando. You can do it on the internet. Oops. A lot of uh, a lot of the Kansas City Star and um and the Sun and all the um Fallout ones of it, they have digitized and you can retrieve them online. That's what this is. The microfish they scanned in digitally. Cool. Okay, so I'm happy that I actually are appreciate doing that technology. That. Usually, yes. when I see a technology kind of overtake, it's like eh. eh. I don't, I'm not really into it, but a microfish is totally, that's all it is, is information, so I totally dig that oh, yes, I'm happy that people are taking those analog data and are putting them digitally. But I loved working, I loved working the machine. The, and you gotta put your head really good. Oh, that, that made me happy. Yeah, I don't know what I it know. was about it, but it really made me happy. Oh, you kids know what we're talking about. Yeah. It's how you did projects. Mm-hmm. To get out of the projects. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. What? Who's that birdie out there? You hear that? That. Uh, Can Twitch hear that? that? That's that's of note. What is I that? I think from? that was. Uh, is that uh, the uh, uh, the little um, tuft of tit mouse? Probably. He yeah. was in the um, little fountain before. The the Tufted, are out Tufted there. Titmouse, or look, if you guys haven't they're seen one. They're not a mouse, they're a little birdie. They're a bird, and they look like they, tiny they're tiny gray, gray bluey. Is that blue in there? I don't yeah. I don't have as. Okay, it's more gray then. I'd say and pain's gray. They have, I guess a little, that's blue. they have a little cute little hat like a cardinal might. They do. And it's not always up. They don't always have their hat on, but when they do, it is super cute. Bird, and they're. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to repeat that one. Uh-huh. I hope one day I can take my aunt to meet you because she's a big fan of yours. Oh, where do they live? Maybe they will. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I can go anywhere. Wow. Mm-hmm. Are you not able to? What's that? Are you not able to? Is that... no, I, was, I don't know. Maybe. I want to go to the moon. Me too. But not a whole lot. There are states I think I'd rather go to than the moon. But there are planets I would like to go to more than any other state. So it's not me just being judgmental. Gotcha. I'm just really precise. Concise. Yes. Hey, Jillian. How's it going? Howdy. It's Jillian Newsom. Hey. From the south. All right. Me too. Are they are they from down here in Florida? Uh, I, um, all I'm gonna say is the South because sometimes people don't like to give away. Info. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't so I'm not gonna their, give. But I, they, they, they live in a Southern state. Okay. I'll get. I can give that much away. Good. Me I, it's, too. I see so many of it. She's a a, pat, a patron. So oh, I see yeah. so many of these Patreon people, and I start to like. I start, start to remember where they live. Their names after yeah. Them. Oh well, you have to. Well, you send them like pins and things. That you the sessions know. at Epcot have been going very well. Like, almost too well. Epcot? Yeah. Where? Or, or, or they, they did go, uh, oh, I see. Or, yeah, it's not. Uh, Rochamel, it's, uh, it's changed now to uh, Disney Springs. Yeah. Sorry. Epcot was. She, she corrected herself. Oh, no, no, no. You know, Disney, you, it's all, I didn't even think about Disney it. Disney World includes everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, v- rather well, Rochamel. Oh, yes. Rather well. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit crazy. And Joanne Newsom says Alabama. And oh, I love y'all. Because that's how we talk. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mad's uh, aunt Jasmine lives uh-huh. in New Jersey, oh. but I live in the South, so I would just bring her to Florida. Okay, probably. yeah. Please do. Hey, Please do. We get a lot of people from New Jersey. We we're kind of joking about it the other day at Disney because, like, we had five people in a row that were from New Jersey, weren't they? Yes. <laughs> so OG says, "I really hope I see affordable space tourism in my lifetime." My gosh, you and me both. <sighs> me too. I dream about space. Me too. Me too. So much. It is such a priority for me that I feel it is not for everybody all the time. And Joanne was born in Florida, but raised in Alabama. Okay. Alabama. Don't know why that makes me tap my knee. It's because of Leonard Skinner. Probably. I prefer that version, actually. As opposed to what? The Kid Rock thing. I prefer everything to the Kid Rock thing. I didn't know that was a thing, but... Oh my gosh, somebody 
posted a picture of Kid Rock and said he looks like so and so, and he totally I didn't think it was him, and he looked he did look like like it, a recent picture, like he's yeah. What did he look like? I don't. It, it's a meme that went around. It was pretty funny uh, though. Was it a, like a cartoon character? No, or like it was a Kid Rock, but I, I it, he, he okay. did not. I was like I'm trying to think what he looks like. <laughs> uh, yeah, he looks like Kid Rock and <clears throat> this other person. Um, James says, lots of love from us Northeast folks. Oh, thank you. I love the Northeast, too. I love everyone. There are, there are certain places in the Northeast that I would love to have a home in. Me, too. But, no, we, we have a cool country. So we so do. many so many places. Big places. Yeah. Oh, you want stuff going on? Joanne says, Jasmine, what would I have to do to have you sign your name under my tattoo? Ooh. So that I could have it tattooed. What? You just gotta get with an arm's length of me and, like, give me a Sharpie. Because I've done this a few times for people, haven't I, Mitty? Like, at conventions where I sign my name and then they'll yes. go get a tattoo. At I, the sa- I, I often at the convention. Do- yeah. Oh, yeah. We've done it at conventions. Megacon. Like, when there's a tattoo dude, like, there. Like, in the same area. And that's kind of fun. But I, I myself won't do the tattoo gun because if I mess that up, I don't think I get ever forgive oh, myself, no. and I, that is not part of my. Skill yeah, set. basically, it's going to be. But a I, film I can sign my regular name with a shirt. Fill in the um, yeah. signature for the things. Yeah. Um, Sn- Sniper lives in Northwest Illinois. I have lived oh, in Illinois. West um, Illinois. That is not by the Quad Cities. North and west. Mm, not by Mil- Milwaukee. Do you live near a, a lake? A big old lake? I bet. That I love it when it's can... not snowing, says James. Yeah, totally. Oh, that's nice. I agree. That's what keeps me in yeah, the south. Yeah, whenever I'm like, I wouldn't want to live there. Oh, that's where I live. The Quads. Big... Quad oh. City. Are you in Moline? Are you in Davenport? Are you in Rock Island? No. The, the way you <laughs> I, said I Davenport, so I'm also you like huh? Davenport. You got to say it like you that. You're starting to talk If like, you're from yeah. Illinois, that's where my mom was from. You know, I... Uh, that accent is, I think, a lot of fun. The one thing about that it accent, it turns into Fargo, the Fargo after a while. The, the Fargo yeah. accent, the, uh-huh. it's a, um, it yeah, it's funny, but I'm not I trying lo- to make it funny. I'm trying to be. I accurate. love yeah. talking to people. I like that, going they to the always M- seem so so MSP. nice. MSP, man, talk about airport codes. MSP, Minneapolis, St. Paul. When those airport people, like the TSA people, <laughs> yell at you, it's just like you kind of laugh, it. and you're like, "Are you? Are you trying to be?" Moline. I work in Davenport. Moline. Okay. Moline, so man. we know we know that area kinda. Do you okay. My wife is from Quincy, says Spider Doom. Oh, what a small world! I've got. Auntie Cinda and says, uncle up "I'm from there. Connecticut here, but now live in Minnesota. I I must love the cold. I guess you do." Y'all can um, talk like that. Do you know too? who? You know whose uh, accent I love? Him. Our friend Deanna's. Yes. I think she's been in the room before. Yes. Yes, yeah, she I has. Love Talk about that, Okay. Yeah. I, you know, I'm probably one of those people that tries to find an excuse <laughs> because that, that's typical of people. Tries to find an excuse of, of not to want to hang out with somebody or not. I cannot figure anything bad out about that person, Deanna. Yeah. She's so cool. Oh, no, nothing is wrong with her. I know. It's amazing. I just kind of look at her and I'm like, wow. She's, I just think she's, she's cool. She's like a platonic ideal of a person. <laughs> she, and her husband. And her husband's He's cool. like the sweetest, and awesome guy baby. ever. I, it's crazy. I'm not a baby anymore, but kid is super cute. And I'm just like, wow. Uh, sniper, like sure. Um, I was supposed to be. What? I'd love to see a pic of your ships. Send it to Matt at strangeling.com. We Let's have links it. off in the room. Yes. Matt, I'll type it in. M A T T at strangeling.com. I, I and um. Uh, I, yeah, I'd absolutely love to. Yes. Hey, what y'all think of Beanie Babies? Um, no, I, I like Beanie Babies. I like stuffed animals in general. I've got some that are like my favorites, but I I don't have a lot of Beanie Babies. But my sister Kachina, when we were growing up, had a bunch. She had, like, the Grateful Dead tie-dyed one that was, like, worth hundreds of dollars. And she had all the... She kept their little names on them and things. I don't have any I, I think I had one. You have Do a, I have a monkey? You 
have a lot of stuff on jeans. I don't know if one was that says, my product or not. I'm a serious collector, and my sister just sent me a, a full bag full of originals. Oh, wow. I'm so excited. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I remember them being around when I was younger, and it was always at a time when I was, like, living out of a car or something. But my sister had some that were super cool, and I know they were... Remember they had, what did they call them at Disney when you were working at the Disney bean catalog? Bags. Plush bean bag? Plush bean miniature bags. plush bean bag toys. They, couldn't they had call like them nine babies. words strung together. They couldn't say beanie babies because they were I'd like to show you my collection sometime. Yeah. Oh, yes. Gosh, I, I like seeing stuff. I'm, I'm always interested in why people collect things and what. Because I collect a lot of weird, pointless <laughs> stuff. And I think other people are doing it right and I'm not. My brother used Beanie Babies to teach his daughter how to use a spreadsheet so she could keep track of them. Okay. I can see that. I know people, somebody told me they made a spreadsheet out of, was it my pens or my prints or something? I've seen people, I've seen a few spreadsheets with your pens. Really? Yeah. Just okay. people have had them up. Yeah, I've seen them. James know, says, of, of all the crap yeah. to be valuable now, Beanie Babies and Pokemon cards. Are they, are they getting popular again? Probably. It's probably cool. been 20 years since they're out, so it's so, probably like it's come around. Jeanette used to go on mad Beanie Baby hunts with her friends, plus Beanie Baby Bingo. I well, bet that see, was fun. Yeah, think, yeah, anything that is sort of a finite system of collectible items, I am so interested in. I like that. I like the idea of it being like things that are at, like it's a video game or Pokemon or something, and you know that you're going to go find these things somewhere. I like that. So, Jasmine, mm -hmm. this is a good question. Mm -hmm. um, if Jasmine could own an original piece of artwork from any artist who ever lived, who would it be? What would it be, rather? In some ways, that could probably be a very boring answer because I'd be predictable and pick a really big Monet or Van Gogh or something that was like worth $300 million because then I'd have $3 million. But if I had to keep the, if I had to keep it and it was just like for me, for my enjoyment. No wrong answer. I don't know. Well, uh, think, think on it. And Glenda says she, I now got the Rainbow Lizard, one of the Switch tags, I think. Oh, hey. And two giraffes of twigs. Giraffes! Thank you, Sniper. Let me think. I mean, no, I mean, this is, I don't know. I mean, I, I could throw, I, I could throw I, ideas your way, I, but no, you, no, no, you have your no, own. No, I've got a lot of really, I mean, you could look at my artwork I have. I'd say maybe, oh, I want the Hieronymus Bosch triptych of the Garden of Earthly Delights. I'd like, oh, God, there's a few big multi-piece uh, polyptics, I guess you call them, like big altar pieces, like the Van der Vaden ones or the Van Eyck ones or something. Um, but the, I, I, and then I think, where would I put it? But if I, you know what I would like? I would like both versions of Madonna of the Rocks by Leonardo da Vinci, and I want to put them next to each other. That's what I want. That sounds cheap. You know how there are two of them? We yes. saw them both, we saw them both the same month. Didn't we? One, we went to the room. Louvre and we went to the National Gallery in London. Same month. I want to see them in real life next to each other. Because it's the same painting. He did it twice. He only did 17 paintings that we have now. Mr. Da Vinci wasting your hours. But I'd like to see the two he did that are basically identical for commissions and see how they're different. And that's I, my own weird thing. So Shaley I'm sorry for the answer. answer. What's that? Shaylee likes your answer. Okay. Uh, it's probably not a good answer. But that's what I want. So if anybody wants to hook me up, yeah. I mean, cool. how big can, can I have, like, a room? Well, if I can have a room. Because you know what well, I Well, can choose. I have the Sistine Chapel? I sure. Mean, what, what, yeah, I guess, I, I guess so. Can I have a Statue of Liberty? That sounds pricey. <laughs> yeah. What if I had it? The material alone is yeah. worth something. Eh. Bunch of aged patinaed iron. Aged patina iron. Patinaed. Patinaed iron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is heavily patinaed, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I got Prince is the Purple Bear now. Sounds like a song. Prince is the Purple Bear now. Had a very shiny. Huh? 
I'm just going through them now. Cool answer. That's what we guessed she would say. You guessed I would say that? Wow! wow. Oh my God. Okay, well, what would I say, Tigger? I didn't even know. That Do is me so next. cool. Who's Manny? Tigger, Manny, Manny, the psychic Manny. Jasmine fan, had the very shiny. That's cool. I mean, Hey, that is cool. Somebody knows me. I appreciate that. Oh, what? if I could own original art from three artists, number one, Jasmine. Uh, so Linda, that's sweet. And two, Escher. And Escher. three, Alex Gray. Okay, those are all wonderful. And um, two of us are still alive, right? Don't know. How much to how much to have you come and paint my ceiling? Oh, how big your ceiling? Yeah. What painting you want on it? Is it a glass ceiling? Because I'm gonna break that. Playing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, off it, each other. Never... Take that, Satan. No, 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 no. He said I had eight years left. I if I was gonna do a ceiling painting, I would kind of like to, but it would take a lot of prep work. I don't know if I'd have to do it on site. It's one of those things where I'd be like, hey, can I sort of do it as a fresco, like, or uh, do it on a canvas sheet or something and you could stick it up there because it would be hard to go to a different place and paint stuff on it. I, my sister, Sonia, Sonia Andrew is a wonderful painter and she does murals like in restaurants or in people's kitchen and things like that, but you gotta keep going there every day for three months while you're working on it. And I, I don't see a time in the near future in my life I'd be able to do that, but I'm always willing to hear any offer. I remember, um, who was that? Luis Royo. Remember when he was doing that ceiling? And it was like some Russian Oh, was that like princelet. a while back? Oh yeah, I'm talking like 12 years ago. Yeah, oh, oh, 15 okay. years ago. I, 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 and he I, did yeah. that whole ceiling of that basically a castle a lot of it was in dubious taste but well executed Jasmine, sniper's yeah. gonna send you the transformer sub drawings thank you i'd like to see them i'm glad people know i gave him like. your email address so he could send those that, to uh, zip thank zip file. you i appreciate that mine would be an original jasmine says angela that would be more realistic that would be more realistic for owning and my dreams would be starry night oh Probably. yeah I, I could see that for I, those of you who are dreaming super hard, in 30 minutes we're going to have a raffle and one of the prizes on there is an original painting. I don't know which one, but one of mine. Thank you, Sniper. I hit the lotto and I'll be calling you for a quote. Hey, okay. Yes. Everything's negotiable. Yes, if you win the lottery, I win the lottery. That's how it works. You'll just take a small chunk of it. It depends how much they win. <laughs> I'll win the lottery. Be smart with your money. I not saying that's, that's not smart. I think that is a legit investment, actually. Just actually, from with experience, you, it's not a but I don't think that's a bad bet. Never actually. I don't that, see any really. depreciation anytime soon. What's that? I said I don't see any depreciation here. Um, no. With you anytime soon. Who knows? We could all die at any moment too, and these could become like super valuable. Quinn said, "I am funny." You said that. Yeah. That's a great line. Wow. You know, it's it's interesting having 17 conversations as a once. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at it. Are you? No, I'm not. Try I can barely I can barely Maybe talk with one person. Try painting at the same time. No, no, no. I love I'm not going to try that. Don't stop Let's making me what paint. What I think about the Disney um, things when I do the live events and they let me draw at them. I'm almost kind of like, I will, if you set up in the 7-Eleven parking lot, I will come draw at your event. I could draw all day. I like doing that. That's what I'd be doing if I wasn't working. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, Matt. I, I'm, I will say that I, I don't know if I could re, I, I'm trying to think how much we spend on our friends art when we do, and I don't know if I could reasonably say that I would, I could afford Jasmine's art. I'm not I sure. Don't know. There are a few artists I, don't think I, I could. collect that probably are valued similarly. I collect a lot of David's artwork, and his pieces are really big, though. They're big. They're yeah, big. Maybe Annie. Annie St Annie Stag would be a good example, yeah. actually. Yeah, her paintings are often. You've got some mm, Larry Elmer. Big those are pricey. Those are pricey. But the thing is, you're more into it than awesome. me. They're What's that? I, I might be happy with a. A print or something. Well, that's the thing. It's like, what are you buying it because you're like trying to invest in it? Or do you like it because you like the picture? Because if you like the picture, you can buy a poster for like $5 hey, and it's Jasmine, the same. Yeah. Uh, sniper was off most last year with a uh, cancer surgery. Oh, for heaven's 
say. Um, we know what we kind of know what that's I like around here. I kind of went through that when um, COVID was starting to hit. Yeah, we had yeah, to go on a, a horrible what do you call it? That's not a hiatus. I don't even. It's a healing time. I don't even know what to I don't know. call I it. Just, yeah. uh, coming back. I'm getting, still here. Getting, Happy to getting be Getting good. Mm-hmm. Let's just say getting good. Yep. What's the weirdest weirdest custom painting you have ever done? It's that one, and you know which one I'm talking about. I think of three. That, it, it was huge. That's not the one I'm talking about. Okay. I can think of three I've had to sign NDAs on because they were personal experiences for people. And There's I one I didn't see. Yeah, there are a few yeah, I haven't seen. I, now, those are those are private things that I've done for people for different reasons of their life. A hundred k out of that. pocket. Ah. For what? A hundred k out of pocket. Probably what? because sniper is an artist and you don't have good insurance. Ah, uh, well. When I had to get some stupid cancers cut out of me, it was about it was over a million dollars and over a hundred thousand out of pocket. Luckily, had, we had some insurance. I had Blue Cross Blue Shield Florida. Yeah, so, so we know how that is. Yeah, I had to spend. I, if there's anything in the world, I would not like to spend a hundred thousand dollars on. It's like poison to make me sick and people to cut on me. The porcelain statue is fun. still available. It is. Yes, yes. please. Do you want it? Yes. It's in California. Yes, I don't please. know how to get please it at home. <laughs> please. I'm no yeah. artist, but uh, wife's got a ton of medical problems too. Geez, sniper. I'm sorry. It is. It's why. Why are we people well, it's, even? It's, it's the price you pay for getting to live beyond the 25 years that you're all kind of promised. Yeah. If you get past that and you're like. Hey, yeah, uh, this horrible thing's happening. This horrible thing's happening. Aww, this horrible thing's she, happening. Then she's it's... had a catheter the last four months, and they can't figure out what's going on. I that's horrible, sniper. Because yes. not figure, not knowing what's wrong with you is like, I that's awful. I I, I, it's, I it's identify hideous. and I feel for you. That is. Some I'm rough, so sad. I, I apologize. Stuff. It's also hard. That's the worst. To is not knowing with what, that yeah. sort of thing on the backdrop of a pandemic when everybody's concerned about one illness and it is not your illness or your family member's illness and it feels like people aren't paying attention to that that is a sad thing to deal yeah, with i would nearly trade any other years in my life for this last year and a half me too i think i did it hasn't yeah. been the best oh <laughs> but i'm happy you're here with us today yeah no matter what's totally. going on and um yeah we wish your wife a lot of luck and hopefully they yes. figure out what's going on that or is, just go that is a bummer yeah. Ah. Well, this year has been rough on a lot of people. You, yeah, I. Uh, go, it's not. Fair. It's the, the it's specialist not... doctors are weird because whatever the specialist, they think you got it. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, you have that. Mm -hmm. You have this. Yep. You have this. They're almost. They're as bad as a. Uh, uh, well, what? What's the medical website? WebMD. Yeah, they're as bad, look bad at as that. Me and WebMD. No. As of last year, I hadn't been to the doctor since. A, 89. Oh, wow. Well, hey, that's not doing too bad, then. Uh, Pineapple says we're very concerned, Jasmine. Ah, don't be too concerned about Jasmine. Oh, I'm she's fine. Gonna, no, the, this is one of those, it, it's kind of like, well, the rest of the world is, like, more sick than I am, so what do I care? That's true. It, it really is. I, I really can't complain, literally. Well, the year before last, I was fine, then last year the cancer popped up. That sucks. I don't like yeah. And there's so many different types, and people just think and it's the same knows thing. But it's they yeah. In in they all. In in you can be you can be also you can be young and fit. It doesn't it don't doesn't no, care. No, it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. Cancer I feel care. like I've been vegetarian so, thirty years. I've never been I've never been in the sun without sunblock. I, I've done everything right. And it's when like you the do biggest jerk right, ever. And it's still bad. I, I, nobody can do anything then, and then you just figure nobody can do anything, and when you can get past that, you can get past anything. The porcelain statue is traveling to see the other mermaids. Yes. Layla. Well, she started technically the finished version of her porcelain, the big mermaid sculpture, started in New Orleans. And almost got hit by a boat, didn't she? Yes. A barge. She was at one the studio, the three uh, the three D studio that we made her in is if you if you guys have ever been to uh, Mardi Gras World across um, across the water from New Orleans, if you take I'd recommend it. It's there. fun. It's a lot of fun. 
it's fun yeah, it's tour. cool. And you can see a bunch of artists like carving the floats out of styrofoam and putting plastic on them and things like that. But that's where that um, porcelain in my mermaid, where we have the big version of her made. And it was like, it, it, if you see where it's at, it's kind of on the Mississippi River. So it pokes out over the water. And a barge, was it like a transport barge, had a bunch of shipping containers on it or something? And mm -hmm. it rammed into it by accident. And everybody had to move, all the artists had to leave. But, but the mermaid made it. And then she was driven all the way to Los Angeles. And she's there now. So if anybody would like her, She's huge. She's one of a kind. She's beautiful. If you got the and room and the, and the dough, it's all yours. If you got the room. You got Sniper the says, I'm 16 and grew up with germs, so I got to build up immunities. That's it's these good. kids, these, these darn kids nowadays with blacky families that are germaphobes uh, not stuff. getting a chance to build resistances like us old farts did. Uh, yeah, kind of. I, I, the, yeah, I, I, I am a little concerned. I just want people to live their best life. Yeah. And I always want that for everyone. Yeah. And it's a tragedy when you it, can't do that. So it is. I'm not sure yeah. what to say about that. Is I'm certainly not a doctor, but I, I agree with you that it's sometimes a tragedy when people are held back for one reason or another. It's very true. And I, I don't like that. I don't like that either. When people are, when people's potential is limited, I take it personally. Yeah. I don't like that. And that could be anything. That could be a thing. Because you're in the reasons. wrong country or the wrong color or the wrong whatever at yeah. the, that time. Or just, I don't like Or it could be just not, encur mad. not encouraged. Yeah, or you don't, yeah, or, or you don't dissuaded. Have, you don't feel like you have anybody on your side. If you feel yeah. like, yeah. It's like, hey, mom, look at my art. It's like, well, you know, that's, that's from the devil. It's like, oh, <laughs> it's like, you just I, made me feel They're like, awful. yeah. Yeah, that's why I showed it to you. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. It's, know if what you you're have saying. that sort of background, you might think yeah. this part of it, this thing inside me that I want to do is bad. Well, now, I, I don't like that. Well, there. It's not good. Yeah. Well, some people think they can shut you down, like with one sentence, and then some people think they can be shut down by one sentence, and you just can't do that. A sniper says he's not worried about COVID. More people die from flu, but. You know, people have not different this ideas year. about it. A lot of people did not die from flu because this they haven't been because out. Because they're probably all being careful and washing their hands. Yeah. Let's all take a lesson. Let's all wash our hands so I don't get your darn flu every time I go to the darn airport. I must say that the last three years have been rough for me, but this is Leela. But I try my best and always think of other people. Uh, it's Grinchy hard says, to go wrong if you're doing that. I'm going through that right now. They had to drain three liters off me. <sighs> Gee, uh, sorry, Grinchy. Um, oh, I lost gosh. 30 pounds, and they told me it could come back. My they, liver is the problem, but no solutions. Uh, I'm so sorry. That it is so frustrating when it is your own body working kind of against fighting you. itself. How do you get away from that? I don't when know. When people are in that position, I very much feel for you. Yeah. That is a sad thing. Yeah, and, and people that, that no. people that don't understand, it's like you should just eat apples and work out. I mean, it's it's not that simple. It's like I've been doing that for forty one <laughs> years. Yeah, I know. So it's yeah, just I, I, yeah. Have you tried apple cider vinegar? Yeah, blueberries are good for cancer. But yeah, you know, yeah. I I don't like people beat, beating up on each other either. Like this year's been rough for. You know, yeah, the last year has been rough for several reasons. It sounds like victim blaming. Or I, I make lots of jokes and yeah. stuff, but I am. I'm a. I'm. A, no, I, you're I one of the more sensitive people I've ever I think known, I, man. Actually, I think I generally want good things. I bet everybody thinks so. Yeah, it's true. Everyone would say that. Does everybody like the stuff they like? <laughs> Kelly, I know it's close to the end, but I've got to go to the bathroom again. Oh yeah, that's fine. Sweetie, we have so twenty sorry, minutes. Folks, you're good. I'm, and we're just gonna take a quick little uh, pee pee break, and um, we will uh, we see you in a little bit. I'll put on the bumper.
We're back. We're back. We're back. Hey, we haven't had a kitty cat, have we? Is Gammy real? We did do a kitty. Oh, we did, because we talked about sunshine. I've been forgetful today, too. <sighs> it was Gamera. This is Gamera, guys. Scary, scary the Gamera. Turtle. Tortoise shell. She's an evil creature. Did we call her Gamera because she is a tortoise shell and it's like a turtle? Or is it because she's a cross-eyed monster? I don't know. Hmm. But she is a tortoise shell. And she is Gamera's a tortoise shell. a turtle name. Her full name is uh, Gamera Carnitas. name. Yep. Gamera Carnitas Carnita. Beckett. Yeah, Beckett. Griffith. Sure. I don't care. <laughs> I bet you don't. Gamora Carnitas. Is that Spanish or it Japanese? It is Spanish. It means meat. I said the the whole name. It's kind of Japanese, kind of Spanish. Yes. We th I remember just wanting to call her Carnitas. Yeah, that's pretty great. When we when we first I was like, what's a good name for her? It's like, <laughs> like oh, look at her. Carnitas? Carnitas. <laughs> yeah. But and then it's like, uh, no, that should be her middle name. Her first name should be Gamera. Cause she looks like this horrible, horrible Cross turtle monster. Turtle monster. And she yeah. proved it. She's been proving it forever. I kind of miss Gam Gam. I'm doing French. Okay, we'll bring we'll bring her back. Bring her back. I get lonely for my babies. I don't see them very often. When I'm doing this Disney stuff, I'm like gone all the time. Gamera is really neat. She is filled with turtle meat. Biscuits. And claws. 17 biscuits and, and claws. 17 yeah. biscuits and claws and a tail and a mouth and these horrible eyes. Gamera creature. Ah! She's a horrible cat. She's a good kitty. Look, she's being good. Look at that camera. Camera. You can't look her in the eye, really. I mean, she can try to look at your eyes, but. Her eyes go the wrong where way. Where am I? Gamera, Gamera is a cat and she never knows where she is. Yeah. But she's happy to be here. Wow, I can't even see her pupil in that eye. Hey, Gamera. Where'd your eyeballs you go? You like love. <laughs> love. One of those weird creatures who like love. <laughs> Very silly. Oh, Gamera, I'm going to show some of your mistress stuff. Oh, yeah. Not my artwork, but something <laughs> I got as a present. We got Mr. Toad, also from Wonderground Gallery. I, but they don't have any more there, do they? Yeah. They do? Yep. Oh, they have them in Wonderground Gallery at Disney Springs. Um, This is by artist um, Scott Tellison, right? I guess so. It's written really it little. Says. They should make our artist names bigger, Disney, I'd say. I think. He's yeah, I mean, super cute. he is super cute. I haven't even opened him yet, but he's... Is he? He's not part of Vinylmation. He's part of Disney Vinyl, which I think is their new version of that. What's that, babe? ACS? Yeah, I'm supposed to be working on ACS. I should probably work on one or two. Can you grab a new one, though? Okay. Nah, I got to paint all of them. Put them here. Okay. So we're going to take a tiny break on this one. Oh my god, look how much the um, Luna Moths are glowing. Yes. I am digging this that painting rocks. so much. This painting is called Bright Candles Burn Fast, cribbed off of a tombstone in southern Georgia. Yanked and off of a tombstone. Yanked off. I said cribbed, actually. Yeah. I yeah. stole the name from a sad little girl's tombstone. In the south, who died in like 1878 yeah. or something. We have, we just Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. But yeah, I go, no, 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 no. I thought it was kind of a sweet thing. In, oh, you know I mean, how, I'm like, when there are, uh, when you're at a cemetery and you see a regular tombstone, and sometimes the, I think they're actually called footstones, the little ones that are at the end. Like how there's a headstone. Ah. I think, I could be wrong. If there are some people who work in the, death industry or whatever um I, correct me if i'm wrong but if you have footstones sometimes they put ones for like babies that died before they got a chance or like a a, a child in the family who might have passed away but there was a tiny little tombstone it had like 
a really short life on it, like three years long, a little girl, and it said, bright candles burn fast. Like, you were so cool, you had to die young. And I was like, that's kind of cute. And that's what that painting is called. So, if if she never got recognition in life, maybe people can think it's a cool title in her death. Where did I put my tape? Ah. Uh. Okay. Ah. Uh. Well, this is not going to happen until I have my tape. So, okay. um. Is it under that print? Oh, is it by our stuff we take to Disney? Because I here's, have that. Here's, here's a little bit of tape. <sighs> Wait, you want some tape? How about you get one and three quarters inch of a tiny, horrible thing of masking tape? That's all you get. Oh, so, yeah, what you pay for? Oh, here's a big one up here. Okay, so that's the one I bring to Disney. <laughs> You guys don't want to see this part. I'm juggling. It kinda. Do, 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 do. Is that clan college? You got a ring on it? clan college. Hey, Florida has a real clan college called Ringling. Penn Gillette went there. A lot of people went there. I'm a member there. I'm in the bird. So, uh, let's see. So uh, someone said vinyl. I, I found my 2020 Jasmine calendar. Oh, good. I'm eventually going to hang them up. Oh, good. Are they going to cut it up and make posters out of it? That's yes. what I do with calendars. OG says, you know, it'd be amazing to see your fairies realized as pop figures. I agree. I have been contacted by pretty much every company that makes that sort of thing. And they're always like, Jasmine, Jasmine, we want to make your vinyl things. And then they like never email me back and I feel uncomfortable. Someone said scuttle because I went, wah, wah, like, when uh, uh, in uh, Kiss the Girl, mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's what they... It, it, yeah, wah, it's wah, on our channel. It's probably wah, a Little Mermaid reference. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, I like... I, I love that part I of what Scuttle, actually. I love that so much. Since he's trying yeah. to he's trying to create a romantic atmosphere, but fails. Yeah, it's, it's, it's but he, he, is a, he is an important part of that film. He's also a good part of the ride. Like, um, oh, at yeah. Disneyland. And I like that Disney ride. World. I like that I ride a lot. That ride. And I feel like it does not get enough attention for being a dark ride at Disney because it is a pretty immersive dark ride at Disney. Uh, Linda says, California, I just love your live streams. Y'all are awesome, <laughs> cool peeps. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please tell a million of your friends. It's mostly just Jasmine making beautiful things and me blurting at her and, she, and then she responds with, other things and then we watch your paint it's kind of nice that's what we do that's what we do man and we give away fun prizes yeah which we'll Always. do in about seven minutes well we don't the prize well i guess it's gonna be cool it's gonna be cool. the the coolness is not in question but the prize is in question because it could be one of any number of things right it could be yes. original painting could be like pins or something that they don't make anymore or whatever i don't know we'll see what it is glenda says i love amusement parks me too um which ones do you like glenda what's near you i like all of them that's my sister kachina's fault now sniper says you know i never got to got to disney oh. been to sea world and knott's berry farms i want to go to disney and tampa gardens <gasps> yeah I oh, like I heard it. Knott's Berry Farm and Disney and things, and I thought they were talking about Los Angeles, or they're talking about Florida. Uh, they've been to SeaWorld and Knott's Berry Farm. Those are also in, in Florida and California. Is there a Knott's Berry Farm here? I know we you have. You know Bush what Gardens. I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of Bush Gardens, okay. which is owned by Knott's Berry Farm, or the same okay, parent company. Okay, it is. And also a Snoopy at like Worlds of Fun that is owned by Knott's Berry Farm. Is it not? I could be. Wrong. I don't know. Jasmine wouldn't be able to paint and read the the chat at the same time. Matt, yeah, you are I can. a vital part of what I makes these streams not to. works and be fun. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. No, that is the best way that we divide this up for sure. But I probably could try to read that. But again, if you saw my setup here, you'd see it was like 30 feet away. I can't read that far because I don't see very King's good. in Ohio is my favorite 
a bazillion roller coasters. King's Island is what they're referring to. Oh! And that's a very famous, uh, it's one of the most famous amusement. What? Yeah, Ohio. Sandusky. That's, um, uh, yeah, Sandusky. That is part of Cedar Point's um, megalopolis, right? Yeah. Isn't it? They I actually think. own uh, Worlds of Fun, too, now, don't they? In Kansas City. Six Flags and Carowinds. I've been to Disney World when I was like six. I remember the song on that one ride. It's a small world after all. And it is. That's a hard song to forget. I love that song. I've been and on I that ride a lot, but like that is a hard times. song to forget. And the one, the one at Disneyland's better though. The one at in my Disneyland opinion. changes too, like for the seasons. They have a Christmassy version of it. Remember? And they pump like peppermint spray. In the oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. King's Dominion was fun. King's Dominion is the one. Is oh wait, isn't that the one outside Washington D.C.? Yeah, I think so. Okay, or it's in Pennsylvania, not Pennsylvania. Where is that? Yeah, we in, in um yeah. in Kansas City we had a place called Worlds of Fun. That's so fun. Which that's I was owned saying, by, I, that's I owned by Cedar Point. I didn't really. Yeah. I mean, Jasmine and I went to it, been to it like probably like five times or so together. Together. I've been there probably well, you, you went 600 fun. times. Seasons My dad past. used to kind of, in a very clever way, not like everybody else he used it, but it was clever when he did it. He'd use it for babysitting because he was usually a construction worker kind of like around that area. And it would be during the summer. We had annual passes. My dad would drop us off there and pick us up in the evening, and we'd go maybe on a couple roller coasters. Jasmine was raised fun. by the person that does the scrambler. She calls her mom. Uh, no, I call we send her dad. birthday cards. But yeah, the scrambler lady. They're, they're, I'm not a big scrambler fan. You know what? If you really like the feel of the scrambler, I would say just go all out and go on the Zulu or the Bamboozler. Right? It's all out. I mean, everybody is always correcting me on this all the time because it's so relevant. It's but, yeah. ultra relevant. Mm -hmm. We don't mess around here. Says the lady who hasn't been on the frozen line. No. What were you going to say, babe? I said we don't mess around here. Yeah. We're serious all the time. And yeah. we're sick of hearing that we're not bub. Glenda do, says... Do you, do you think of... My three sons, like, what were you saying? <laughs> Bub, yeah. yeah. Do they still have that ride where you walk into an underground cave and you spin real fast and they drop the floor under you? Yes! Yes, they do. It's called the Finish Fling. We were talking about the other day. Maddie, what did your sister tell you? What did my mom tell me? They said, oh my mm. God, there's there's this wall and you spin on it really fast and then the floor drops they out. They don't say a wall. They say a barrel. A barrel. Like you're in a barrel. And, and the floor you're, drops in a, out. you're spinning around so fast. If you go that, on that like, ride and you weigh, weigh less than 60 pounds, you're going to die. Fugal motion is you're going to die on, on that and, ride. And the floor drops off. And you may say, oh, it's scary, scary. The floor goes down. If that's what it, you're talking Goonies. No, it ain't no Goonies. Yeah, I think we're having 17 different conversations. Next time I ride It's a Small World, I'm bringing a fishnet. Fishnet for all the change. I hear yes. they donate the change to throw into the water. In the water throughout the parks. And Maybe. that is what we call the Disney discount. No. But you can kind of get coins out of things, but I think, don't they donate the the change that people throw into things? Don't they give it to like Children's Miracle Network or something? Uh, I don't know. At Disney. They do, or they used to. They do in California. You know, if not, they what should. The, the do. ride that's most like Goonies, though, is Pirates. I think Pirate Goonies, ship. I think Goonies, the film, Yeah. I think they're kind of basing that off of Pirates of the Caribbean, sort of. Yeah. What other experience do people have in a year that is like that? The gravity keeps you from falling. That's impossible, Glenda. Gravity makes you fall. I You're like great. Glenda, Glenda You're and crazy. I like where she's going. Glenda, I want now. you to be my science Don't teacher. Don't fall for big physics. The gravity keeps you from <laughs> Gravity kills. You're awesome, Glenda. Uh, James says, I, I like believe so. Like Glenda. What's that? <laughs> James says, I believe so. Yeah. The gravity keeps you from falling. 
No, it's actually the centripetal force, which sounds like centrifugal force, which are oh. very similar. One's a roller coaster, one's a spinner. It's that time, the everybody. They're both amusement parks, but Matt has a prize for us, and I'm going to point. We're, we're, he's going to pick the we're gonna pick who won the prize. I act like I'm surprised by this. We picked the winner first, right? I am. We picked the winner first. All yes. right. Let's pick that winner. Pick somebody who's cool. Pick the you winner. You can't not, really. Why else are you here? Skidovidia. Yeah, Skidovidia. Skidovidia. You're cool. Watch it. Let's see what Watch Skidovidia. Watch this. It's going to be a okay. thing. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to win. And where is the prize wheel? We're not oh, running on wheel. manic energy. We have not been up for 72 hours. I promise you. Is it an original painting? Portrait pins at four. Oh, number four, really? Number four. Hey, Carol and Jeff brought that one by for me to sign last night. They brought all of them by. They brought all of the things. They were not messing around. No, that that is how I wish everybody was, honestly. Portrait yes, pins so at four. So portrait pins at four is now, it has been sold out for a while. If you would like to keep these for yourself, you can. They're super special. Otherwise, you can trade them up at the pins group. Or, Don't eat them. Or keep them. Keep them. Keep Do them. Not eat the Put your sets. children through Stop college. Stop eating the pin sets, everyone. What's that mean? I'm just t informing the people that they shouldn't eat the pin sets. Yeah, I think that's part of the, like, ages three and under don't choke on it. Yes. I, I would like to think that a lot of our Twitch viewers are over I'd like three. to think that too, but I still have to warn no, them. No, I, I, I know. I like to think most of our Twitch viewers are over three, but if they're not, they're not. That's not their problem. Well, okay, guys, that was our broadcast. I thought we had another hour. No, that ends it, Jasmine. Well, um, uh, those of you here in Florida, um, I'll be um, kind of doing the same thing, but with drawing tomorrow at Disney Springs. If you go over to the Wonderground Gallery inside the Marketplace Co-op, you can come watch me draw. You know that little binder I showed you with the drawings? I'm basically just busting out my pens and doing that in between the times people come have me sign stuff. Yes. And I'll sign anything you want. If you want to bring stuff from home, you want me to sign your arm, you want to have a baby, you want me to sign your baby's arm, I will sign anything for anybody at any time. We'll so sign please, your baby's head. I, I, I will do it without your permission. It's going to so, be all yeah. a bunch of baby head signs. Lines of babies just Disney all with the heads. Disney does like us playing that the, up, baby. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. no. Come, come with your family, what do you think? And we will and sign. We will wink, not wink. sign. Don't your bring your head. babies. Wink, wink. Leave your babies yeah. in the car. We won't it's sign their heads. Wink, wink. To, uh, tomorrow, ninety-four here in Florida, is what it told me. On, oh my god! Not my horoscope. What's the other one? The weather thing. It said it was gonna be ninety-four tomorrow. Oh, so my it's god! It my could Lord. be a lie. They lied last time. It my is Lord. Legit spring, but heavens we're in to Betsy. But yeah, but don't if you have a baby, don't really leave it in the car. Matt's being silly. don't bring in bring the baby in. And for, I will sign it for a head for signing. You. Yes, I love you. It's <laughs> <laughs> my new sign off. Okay. Thank you, Sunshine. Catch I miss you. I'm, I'm happy you enjoy your vacation house, Sunshine. Catch you later, guys. See you. Bye. Have, have a good 